I'm going to tell you right now, right now. This is from her father, her father. You bunch of lying, no good punks, and I know who it's coming from. Because, because, because I've actually it. And you've been reported to cyber police because of that trace kit. Consequences will never be the same because I've had trace kit. And you've been reported to cyber police because I've had trace kit. You'll be arrested. And you'll never take you out this blood. My daughter is not lying, and I'm not going to put up with any of you people's crap. If you ain't got something nice to say about my daughter, then keep your mouth shut, keep, keep, keep your mouth shut. And any more of your comments and put it on there will be caught and will be bound. You will have to deal with the police, because you've done good, because you, you've done good. Because I've had traced it, and you've been reported to cyber police, because I've had traced it. Will never be the same because I've had traced it, and you've been reported to cyber police because I've had traced it. You'll be arrested. Any of you ever taken? Hello, CPN just got arrested for hitting Chuck with a fucking hammer. Uh, let's see. We got Dora. Uh, hold up. I'm trying to put you on. All right. Well, let me hit it. Oh, sorry. Hold on. It's being crazy. Add to stream. <laughs> Add to stream. There we go. Okay. What up? Oh, damn. I thought it just. Okay. Let's try to add Mike to. Okay. There we go. What's up, y'all? What's up? Bro, just, uh, watch the uh, the stream where fucking me, CPN just got arrested, man. Like, what the me fuck? too, man. I was, I was like, what the fuck did I just witness? Yep, CPN got arrested for hitting Chuck in the head with a hammer. Apparently, Chuck has a big knot on his head now, so he's probably afraid to go live because of the knot on his head. I don't know. <laughs> Yo, I when you said CPN was live, I was like, bro, I need to find his channel so I could watch this live. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I got in there, it was when he was talking about Chuck and stuff. And then for a minute there, it was going good. And there was, you know, showings of his house and stuff. And then all of a sudden, knock on the door. And I'll be like, oh, there's the cops. I told myself the cops are here, bro. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Since yep. when did cops watch uh, People's live streams Let's be honest Since when has this happened For a mm -hmm. while they, Especially The Juggalo community With all the fucking like Since 2011 man It's just surveillance society Wow But I mean yeah They've been doing that for fucking ever um, did anyone tape the hit? Um, apparently, there was a live stream of what was going on. Well, CPN had put down his phone, but apparently Chuck was live as well. I didn't see Chuck's live, but I I, um, I went and listened to the Blase Rose Violent J diss track CPN posted. And, um, and then when I came back from that, uh, I heard them arguing in the back. And Chuck's like, you just hit me with a hammer. You know? Yeah, so now, okay, everyone's going to be hating on Chuck. Oh, Chuck's a cop caller. Chuck's a snitch. Chuck's a cop caller snitch. I can just see it now. Oh, yeah, they they already said that Chuck was the one that called the cops. Oh, they did? Like yeah, I'm I, not his cat. I was the reading there, and cop. they were like, Chuck called the cops. <laughs> uh-huh. Who is Chuck? It had to be. Oh, Chuck posted a picture on Instagram inside the ambulance. He might have a concussion. All right, but who's I mean, Chuck? Chuck Reeves. You don't know who Chuck Reeves is? I, I guess not. He's oh, okay. the man that's um, plowing he's the old lady. 
He's fucking CPN's wife. That's who he is. Yep. I mean, is he just a, I mean, is he part of the, the YouTube? Yeah. Community? Yeah. Or like, who, like what? I'm just confused. I'm sorry. Yeah. He's a big time <laughs> MNE supporter. So since 2017, it was like Chuck was on MNE side and CPN's on ICP side. And they were just going back and forth about, you know, uh, defending either community. So he, he's the opposing side of the 17 percenter deal, which is probably why I don't know yes. who he is. Yes, basically, okay. yeah. Hmm. Damn, man. Yeah, and so um, apparently Blase Rose was fucking Lord Zero and um, got pregnant and then went back to Violent J, and Violent J had to pay for her abortion. What the fuck? Yeah, Lord Zero is one of the leaders of the Bender Boys, if you didn't know. I mean, how does someone show up at your house and you, like, defend your home and you get arrested? I, I'm just boggled by this, that the cops even, like... I mean, <laughs> I don't get it at all, dude. I, I don't want to pick sides here, but, like, what the fuck, dude? What is wrong with the police, bro? Like... Well, CPN is apparently uh, um, arrested for malicious battery, uh, malicious... Uh, malicious wounding. Malicious wounding with the hammer, yeah. I'm just, I mean, isn't there like a law with, well, I don't know, what state is he in? Virginia. Oh, that, that, oh that, he in my that's state. everything I need to know right there, buddy. Uh, <laughs> Commonwealth state. There you go. <laughs> That's all I needed to know. He in Virginia. Oh That's all I needed to know. <laughs> Cops here don't uh, give two flying fucks. They're just as bad as, as the police here, man, if not worse. Commonwealth state, think a lot. I mean, in all honesty, the way they, they phrase it, it, it you know, can't, can't, if he had a weapon in his hand, I, I could understand, you know, throwing the hammer and everything. Um, so I could understand where their thoughts were like, you did it intentionally. You already well, planned to also, do it. If you watch the stream, he also incriminated the fuck out of himself. He like, did. Yeah. He really police, police would have been like, hey, what happened? I would have been like, man, he showed up to my house. You know, it was a confrontation and he left. You know what I'm saying? Instead, he was like, yeah, I, I hit him with the hammer. If you would have just been like, nah, you know what I'm saying? It just would have been his word against this other guy's word, right? You would think. But there was live streams and they already watched the live streams beforehand. So either way. They knew he hit with with the hammer. Like it's just was there. the hammer was well, so. My question is: Was the obviously? I mean, I, I came in toward the end of it because I saw it in my notifications, and he was just talking and like showing off his uh, garba. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, CPN crib style or some shit. And all of a sudden, there was a knock at the door, and he, you know, in between this, he's doing his usual shit talking. But then when the police, when he opened the door, it's like, you know, it's the police. And then he's talking to them and then they're kind of interrogating him. And it seems to me he said what he did. And then that's kind of they went the route they went and just arrested him. Like you admitted you committed a violent crime. I think if he wouldn't have admitted it. I don't think they spent what I'm saying is I don't think they spent a whole lot of time. I don't think the police is going to spend a whole lot of time investigating that particular part of it, it seems like it just would have been chalked up in court, and then there would have been an arrest made later. You see what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mm -hmm. But because he said he hit him with the hammer, like you see what I'm saying, and then tried to manipulate why he hit him with the hammer, that's what got him arrested. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know if that makes sense what I'm saying at all. No, it does. I mean, at the end of the day, the cop even asked him, why did you use the hammer? Like, what? why was your instinct to use the hammer? You know, 
you would think that your instinct of someone running to someone running towards you, you would try to go inside the house and lock the door. Or at least use your fist, I'm just saying, to subdue them. Not a hammer. <clears throat> I mean, at the end of the day, dude was wrong for fucking with him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, he, I mean, he did antagonize him, it sounds like. But, I mean, I, I could see he hit somebody with a hammer instead of just... Trying to defuse the situation. Why? Why didn't CPN call the police itself and be like, "There's a, like he said he vandalized his, his van, right?" <laughs> but why putting didn't he call stickers the on it then and deal with that situation. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, CPN definitely didn't handle it properly. You know, um, he he. Well, he's mad that Chuck was fucking Roxy. You know, Chuck was yelling, "I'm fucking your wife. I'm fucking your wife." So that mm -hmm. makes him very angry. I can only assume. And that's why he hit him with the hammer. Someone else is joining. Big Dad Giga Chad. What hey, up, Blue. Chad? Hey. Boy, do you see all that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Watching. Man, CPN, sadly, for being such a smart guy, is awfully dumb. Um, because first of all, if you hit someone with a hammer, when the police come to talk to you, you say, speak to my lawyer, cause they're still going to arrest him. Um, malicious wounding in Virginia carries five to 20 years in prison. God. Okay. And get the Commonwealth state. That's what they do. <laughs> And Violence get this. Is a big deal in the Commonwealth states. They, they but, hold you for a while. But he should be okay because it's only a hundred thousand, only up to a hundred thousand dollar fine. So he makes a hundred grand a year, so he should be just fine. Yeah, he'll be able to pay it, all right. Yeah, he's got that one covered. Um, but he, no, he'll be able to bail out probably. But this is gonna cost him a ton of money. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean he probably won't serve five years in jail he's gonna go to jail though like he shouldn't have said like the, the questions they asked like when he honked the horn and stuff he should have just said i you know if he was even going to speak to them he should have said i didn't know who it was i grabbed a hammer and went outside the guy ran up at me and i just my instinct was to pop him in the head and i didn't even hit him that hard and and then he kept saying and then he grabbed the hammer and i said come on fight me fam like why were you telling the cops this it's insane insane that's what i mean he incriminated himself he probably wouldn't have been arrested even if he just wouldn't oh, have said that oh no he was still i mean he hit i mean no he probably would have i mean because it was on his part wasn't on camera but they said that chucks was so he probably still would have got arrested but he should have said talk to my lawyer and a lawyer would have said the lawyer would have said hey he you know uh, i don't know what chucks camera shows so I, I don't know if it shows, I don't know where the hammer was. I don't know how it was grabbed or any of that. Um, but, you know, and then after that, you know, he didn't leave his stoop. You know, he did kind of the right thing there, but grabbing the hammer and going outside, you know, and, and yeah, the, the thing they're trying to say is, yeah, like if somebody comes and bothers you, you, you just don't go outside. You call the police and they'll handle it you don't go outside with a hammer, like, you know what I mean? Which is kind of common sense, you know, in certain states, you know. Um, I'm surprised none of his neighbors called the police. You know, you have this little midget walking around with a big beard running his mouth. Not a lot of people want to get in people's business. Chuck. So, yeah, like, you, you, you think to get to the door, you hit with a hammer over your wall with that. You find <laughs> out, you find out he's a midget, and then his beard isn't that impressive. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's and only like, like a, hey, it's only can't... a foot long because he's only <laughs> three feet tall. <laughs> oh man, yeah. I mean, you know, I don't know. I was, I was watching the whole thing, and it was just like amazing. I mean. It, it's just one of the most craziest streams, you know? I mean, you know, 
I kind of almost feel bad for him in a way. Like I kind of feel bad for CPN. Like the other thing was, is like he moved. I don't think his job required him to move out of um, Madness's house and move back to Richmond right near (laughs) uh, Roxy. I think he probably chose that area to move to on his own. And like, I think he obviously wanted to get back with her. But he kept buying, paying all her way, not living with her, but paying her way, paying her bills. And like, you know, why marry the juggalo if uh, you get the merch for free, fam? Like, obviously, like, she isn't going to miss you if you're still paying her way. So, of course, she took advantage. And, you know, and then it came out that little Chuck Reeves is banging your wife like it's just unbelievable unbelievable mm. but i mean hopefully he has enough in his you know account to bail himself out he probably does um that's the one thing with the courts nowadays is he won't i don't think he'll be held i think he'll be able to bail right out oh yeah um, and but it's going to be a long court thing because he's going he's going to ha- want he's going to get a misdemeanor i mean to get it dropped to a misdemeanor it'll be a big thing um, I don't think it's going to be that easy. I mean, that's a pretty bad hitting somebody with a hammer is a pretty serious charge. If he doesn't have a criminal history, that's pretty good. Um, I still think he's going to need to probably pay a real lawyer and not get a public uh, defender. So, um, yeah, he's probably, but if he's not paying Roxy's way anymore, um, I guess he'll save that money, but. He yeah, better be, he better in Virginia or the state I live. He better be getting a, a real lawyer, not a public defender. Or, yeah, the public defender stuck here in Virginia. He well, they fuck you. Yeah. They fuck you everywhere. To talk his way with the with the judge, how to get out of jail. You know. Yeah, the public those, def- those, those public defenders in Commonwealth states they're, they're they're paid to do plea deals. They ain't paid to get you off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep, yeah. that's why he needs to get himself an actual fucking lawyer to help him with this. Yeah. And yes. his mouthpiece is probably not going to be smooth enough with the judge in one of these, these commonwealth states like this. Yeah, it's a pretty – it's a real serious charge. I <laughs> – I looked it up because I I heard what it was on the thing, but I didn't. I heard it on your. I wa- I turned on your stream and I heard um, somebody say what the charge was, and I looked it up real quick, and then I saw what it was before I called in. And yeah, five to twenty years, a hun- up to a hundred thousand dollar fine. So it's awesome. a felony, definitely a felony charge. And um, yeah, it's awesome. uh, the thing about Virginia is depending on the lawyer, uh, the judge he gets. Some judges will make a example out of him, so we're we're hoping that they just give him the fine and drop it down a bit. And plus, and he's, he's, like he's, he's, he's a juggler. Like, <laughs> he's a yeah, juggler. It'll be like Kentucky. He will get charged and hit with the biggest fucking maximum thing he can be hit with because he's a juggalo in Commonwealth, you know, with the FBI thing, the, the gang labeling. Mm-hmm. He'll be arrested. He'll be put in the gang unit. He's probably on his way to the gang unit now. But, you know, <laughs> they're going to be like, you're a gang member and all this other stuff. And so he's going to be hit with that, and he's going to be combating that at the same time. And it just, he just got pissed off, essentially, because of somebody's fucking his wife or whatever the allegation is. And they would have probably be less seen if it was just that. But because you have Commonwealth states, a lot of these Commonwealth states, they get funding if, like, fucking bumfuck Egypt USA can have a, 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 a gang listing in their town and they get funding for the police department to combat that gang. I don't know what town. Yeah, yeah. Is, listen, listen, but- nobody, nobody really thinks the Juggalo is a real gang, okay? We're, we're talking MS 13 is a real gang. The, the Bloods and the Crips, the, the, there's real there's real gangs out there doing real gang shit. The Juggalos are... That. What I'm saying is that does, not, that does not mean that the court is not going to weaponize that with his divorce and the crime and all that. That's what I'm... 
Maybe. I don't think so. I mean, he's a guy. He works. He's going through a divorce. If he doesn't have a criminal history, I mean, he might be able to get it knocked down. I mean, out of nowhere, he didn't know the guy was showing up. In his defense, I don't know what Chuck what Chuck's camera shows. Um, I don't know if the if the hammer was outside or where he grabbed it from. I mean, if he walked out with it and I mean, in a way he kind of like, you know, he didn't know, he didn't know if the guy had something, but he kept saying, you know, he, you know, Chuck grabbed the hammer and I told him to bring it. Like, like, what are you doing? Like, why are you keep saying that? Like, you know, like, why are you trying to sound tough to the cops? Like, what are you doing? Like, it just, it was just um, kind of mind boggling how a guy who, just got his shit together. Um, and, and the crazy thing is it's like, yeah, you're losing your wife and that sucks. But if you're really making a hundred thousand dollars a year, you could toss her in the dumpster. Never think of her again. Who cares? Why are you bringing up Blase Rose's fucking past? What, what, what is it of her business? What, what is it? Your business what she did and, and her, if she, uh, you know, apparent abortion, why are you telling people this? It's just so weird that he brought her. He's like blaming Blase because his wife cheated on him. Like, mm-hmm. like, you know, but at the same time, he's going through her emails, reading all her text messages, looking at who her, who connects to her Wi-Fi you know, practically stalking her. It's like, if she doesn't, if it's not working out, just go, you know, like a a woman's not worth going to jail over. And I think he learned that the hard way, sadly. It's the narcissistic viewpoint. Yeah, maybe. It it makes sense if you look at it from his narcissistic point of view, manipulation, controlling, and and I really believe he probably loves her, and that's where a lot of the issue is. I know it's it's weird that I'm saying that because it's it's I don't know, like people that just view the world kind of the way that he does tend to do things that they don't really do it on purpose, but it's it's like a mental block or something. You know, no, I've been um, I've been in love. I've been in love too. Trust and believe that, but to. Um, but if you're making that kind of money and stuff and the woman you're taking care of lies about the cats and then Woof, en- what up, Lou? and then your enemy, Woof. your sworn enemy is in your house that you're paying for, like, just drop her. Like, why you come online and you're arguing about some song they wrote like that petty stuff was just silly, I think. Mm-hmm. Right, let me tell you all how this works real quick. All right, he's he's gonna bail out. He's gonna get a hold of a bail agency. He's only gonna have to pay ten percent of whatever the bail amount is. And the, I mean, even if it's aggravated assault or assault with a deadly weapon, I it'll get dropped down to a misdemeanor. I'm almost a hundred percent sure. I've been down the same road before, but this is in California. Um, yeah, he'll be fine. It just depends what they're charging him with. It's malicious, malicious wounding. It's malicious it? wounding. Five to twenty wounding? years felony, yeah, yeah, but that's like I said, it all and it's all going to depend on the lawyer. Like I'm yeah. sure he's being smart enough to get a lawyer, not fucking. He wasn't smart enough. Defender. He was not smart enough to ask for the lawyer before he talked to the cops. Well, yeah, but he didn't have a lawyer, so I mean, you can't really do that. I mean, you can. You have. You, you don't have to speak to the. You police. don't ask for the lawyer. What you do is don't say say. You don't talk to the police. Say, I'm not going to talk to you. I want to see a lawyer. That's what they say. You just say, you don't tell them anything. Correct. The cops going to lie. I've been through this shit. Yeah, they're going to arrest. Well, that's what I said. They're, they were going to arrest him either way because they had already looked at the film, but they got out of him. They got out of him saying that he walked out of the house with the hammer, that, that noticed that. Right, but um, none of this matters. I'm telling you right now, watch this. This is what happens. Okay, it depends if the DA wants to pick up the case for one. And the district attorney, the public defender, the lawyers, you got to understand, they all go to school together. They all work together. This is what happens. They're going to go to court. Hit somebody in the head with a hammer. I know, they're but they're going to go to the court. charge. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Trust me. What they're going to do is they're going to go into the courtroom. The DA, the lawyer, his lawyer, public defender, whatever, and the judge are going to be in the room. And the DA is going to say, okay, or the lawyer is going to say, give me this one 
and I'll give you the next two. They all work together. That's all it is. They decide what they're going to do with you long before you go to court. Well, yeah. you're talking about Virginia is a Commonwealth state, though. So if even if all that happens, if the Commonwealth the only Besides, difference is the laws in the states. I'm right. telling you, they all go to school. They work. You got to think these lawyers and DAs and judges, they go to work at the same courthouse every single day. They eat lunch together. I'm telling you, that's how it works. They say, give me this one and I'll give you two next month. Yeah, I know. I, I've worked for lawyers. I, I've done the work. I, I, I know personal lawyers who that sleep with judges that have like, like I, I know how they all. Yeah, they all work together. They eat lunch together. They do stuff on their they, own. They're, they're going to put them on probation. That's all they want is probation because probation is designed to fail. Eighty percent of fucking people on probation fail and violate. So that's may, what they're hoping for. Yeah, I, I don't know. And the, that's and, the, and the DA wants a conviction. Because a DA is trying to be a judge. That's why. The more convictions they get, the closer they get to being a judge. I'm saying that I don't think he's going to walk in with a public pretender no. and, get, and, get, and get that drop to a misdemeanor and get just probation. I mean, can, I mean, trust a, me, I've had felony charges that they had proof on in video, and my public defender got it dropped down because it was my first offense. From felonies well, down to misdemeanors. Yeah, then, I, I, well, viola- then I violated probation. And that's where they got you. Yeah, and that's was it a me. violent? Was it a violent offense? Yes. Well, there's some violent and some non-violent. Okay. But I got hit after vi- I picked up a new case. See, I was on probation. I violated, so I picked up a new case, which was new charges, and so I ended up with a uh, yeah four felonies and a strike. <laughs> Trust me, I've done. I've, and I did three uh, years, and I only did three years. Yeah, so, I've, this I've, is this is this is what I've done I a think. lot of fighting yeah. and a lot of I've done a lot of I've been in a lot of courtrooms and done a lot of uh, a lot of dealings myself. So I, I know, trust me, sadly, you learn um, as you get a little older, it's not worth it comes um, down to how much justice tough. you can afford. If you got money, you'll get away with it. Like I said, a lawyer, what he'll do if he gets a paid lawyer, a paid one. The lawyer's going to file so much fucking motions and have it tie and tie up the D.A. Where the DA is going to be like, all right, fucking, I don't want to deal with this. I got a big caseload. I'm going to deal with the other fucking idiots, you know? Yeah, it all possibly. comes down to how much justice he can afford, you know? Possibly. If he can have a good mouthpiece with the prosecutors before the arraignment, they would release him. And more than likely, this is what I think will happen. He'll be on like a house arrest thing until he has to go back to court. And then maybe that will work it out. No, they'll, they'll give him three years felony probation, most likely, and then they're going to hope that he violates, which it's almost impossible to not violate on fucking probation. You get a speeding ticket, that's a violation. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, but he should try to go for like one of the deferred sentences. He shouldn't try to get a felony on his record, but I don't know, being a violent offense. But once again, it, he's not a violent guy. This and it is, depends well, if he has priors. That's huge if he has priors. If he has no priors, Shit, he's definitely going to get probation. He has no priors, but there's but he bragged on the video about hitting um, multiple other people. I'm telling you, proof doesn't mean anything in the. I'm telling you, these fucking judges and lawyers, that's not how they work. They just want to fucking get him on probation. They think, okay, he get him on probation, he's going to get a speeding ticket. Boom, that's a violation. That'll get him locked up with the no bail hold until he goes back to court. And if GP is making the money he's making, I'm sure he can. All he needs is five grand to get a good lawyer. He what he needs to do is look up the best fucking criminal defense attorney. Yeah, five grand fucking, retainer. That's the retainer. There's that's the just start getting, out. yeah. That's no for, usually five grand. I mean, they can get you off a lot. Of, uh, a good lawyer, five grand, they'll get you off. <laughs> well, maybe drop to a misdemeanor. I don't think they'll, you're gonna they'll get tie off. the court. They'll tie the court up with so much fucking litigation. Like I said, they won't want to deal with it. They're just gonna throw them on probation. I mean, trust me, five grand didn't get me that much with a lawyer before. Well, did I? Well, I spent, I spent twenty five grand on a lawyer. He didn't do shit for me. I spent five grand on a lawyer, a good one, and he fucking he got a lot of shit knocked off for me. And I, there was all proof and everything that I did it. It's just they don't care about that. It's the money. That's all. It all comes well, I know. I money. mean, there's no justice in America. I mean, no. There's, there's, I mean, <laughs> there's <is> corrupt <laughs> people that get away with stuff all the time. I my, just think it's too bad that now, even in my now dis- and it depends on what the discovery says, what they're charging. He needs to ask for his discovery and they have to give that to you. And that brings up all the charges, anyone they interviewed or blah, 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 any of that. And then 
like I said, none of, and none of that even matters. He just needs to know what he's getting charged with. And my lawyer even said, don't ever talk to the cops. They're the, they're bigger liars than my lawyer. My lawyer said this. Yeah, the yeah. Of cops course. are bigger liars than he is, and he's yeah. a good liar. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but, I mean, did you watch the video? Did you watch it happen? No, I, I, I was watching the video that I, I, I had to go. But when I came back on, it was just buffering. So I was I didn't know if he got arrested or what happened. But I mean, yes. there's a lot of things he can say. But like I said, if he just comes up with five grand, looks up a good criminal defense attorney that has a good record. Like I was lucky with mine. Like, luckily, my lawyer was fucking the DA's daughter. So he knew oh. the family in the DA's family. So, I mean, that got me off the hook for a lot of shit. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. There's all the backdoors dealing. Like so. I said, you got to understand, they go to school together. They eat lunch together every single day. And it's yeah. just like, you give me this one this month, and I'll give you two next month. That's all it is. They decide what they're going to do with you before fucking any of this shit Well, goes it down. takes a certain kind of person to be a lawyer because, first of all, you have to you have to be able to defend vile people, first of all. And yeah, then, but they don't give a fuck. They just want money. Well, yeah, that's how I said. It takes a, a certain kind of... It. I couldn't defend a pedophile. I'm sorry. I couldn't do it. Hey, if they, if, if they gave you enough money, I bet you'd change your mind. <laughs> no, no, I bet you I wouldn't. I bet well, you I mean, fucking I wouldn't. Maybe you would. Maybe, maybe I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Well, if I, I, somebody tell me a story about how they fucking abused a little kid, I gouge his fucking eyeballs out. That's what I do. Yeah, I, they're, they're in jail. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why I said it takes a certain kind of person to be a lawyer. But the problem is I now be a lawyer. The problem is nowadays you get in more trouble saying you're going to do something than actually doing it. So well, it's kind of fucked that he up actually like this guy. Chuck, the fact that he actually hit Chuck is a good thing instead of saying and threatening him that he did it. Well, I think it's kind of fucked up that Chuck can just show up to at his house. And then, I mean, I don't know why he needed the hammer, though. Like, why couldn't you? Like, I, I didn't know Chuck was He's really lucky he didn't have a gun. Fuck that. He's lucky he didn't have a gun. Like, I've always said, like, I don't like guns. And in California, it's tough to get guns. So if anyone breaks into my house, I'm coming out of my room with a fucking chainsaw. Fuck the gun. <laughs> Well, I hope about yeah, you better hope it's an electric chainsaw because fucking takes a minute to start a fucking gas power. Someone chainsaw. breaking into your house, here's a chainsaw fire up. That's gonna get they're gonna be fucking running out of there real quick. <laughs> well, I live in a I live in a good state. I can I can uh, I have those rights. So, and you can get those. Well, maybe you can't if you're a felon, but. Um, well, I'm a felon, yeah, so I cannot yeah. have guns, but I can well, have a chainsaw. <laughs> I mean, you can, you just can't talk about it. Right. You know. Yeah, um, people not, are not registered. People are arguing well, he didn't hit. Now, did CPN actually say he was going to hit the guy with the hammer prior to yes. hitting this guy? No, he prior. Said, he said he hit him with the hammer. Yeah, but before the guy, so he just said, well, so what happened was is. But Chuck pulled like, up to his house. So if CPN could show proof that Chuck pulled up, then it could be self defense. I mean, there's a lot of shit. Well, he kind that's of. Why, he invited it. He invited him over. CPN threatened him with the hammer because then that's terrorist threatening, right? And then the action behind hitting him with the hammer. No, no, no. So what happened was... You can't just roll up to someone's house. But, I mean, laws are different. I mean, out here in California, I got a buddy. He's a repo man. And he was re he went to repo. He jumped over the fence to repo someone's car. And then fucking the dude came out with a gun. And he ran away. And he shot him in the back of the leg as he was running away. And the re my buddy, the repo man, is the one that got arrested. <laughs> We're doing his job. And he got yeah. shot. Yeah, but I mean, if you're going on private property, even if you're repoing something, I don't know. There might be a gray area there. Well, yeah, like I said, I don't know the exact laws, but I know uh, from personal experience that's happened, and that's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, but what happened was this job, you know? CPN on his video said, Chuck, if you want, you can sh uh, you can show up here, and we can do this. And then he goes, but I'm not inviting you, but, but I'm telling you. Chuck is threatening you, to show up his house and stalking him. Like I said, Chuck's stupid. Well, Chuck's a fucking fucked hard anyways, like... But what happened was, is so, then he goes, I'm not inviting you, but if you show up, we can do this. And then within three minutes, there's horns going off. CPN walks outside, and then you hear the, oh, you hit me in the head with a hammer, blah, blah, blah. Hell and yeah. then, and then, but, um, but what, you know, and I think what a lot of people wonder is, I guess Chuck is really a very little guy. So yeah, I'm he's not like three foot 11. So I'm not sure why, you know, and CPN isn't. I'm not sure why CPN. I don't know where the hammer was. So I think that matters too. I think maybe if the, um, you know, 
And if, if somebody's honking their horn and you grab the hammer to go see what the commotion is outside and it's in your hand and the guy jumps out and you have it, well, I could see not how only that. that. EPN could say he feared for his life because his shit was getting vandalized and he said he has it on camera supposedly. So, I mean, there's a lot of, like I said, I mean, they're more likely, like, if CPN, I mean, I, like I said, I don't know the charges. That I would like to see the discovery, find out exactly what is said. And all, and well, I mean, it all happened. You watched the whole thing. There's no discovery. I didn't the discovery see it, is, is there is a discovery. Once you get arrested, the discovery is what all the cops have on you, the report and everything. Yeah, well, when you're Chuck, sitting all the in cops. jail and you don't know why you got arrested and what the fuck's going on. You, you tell the lawyer, I want my discovery. They legally have to give it to you. Yeah, but nobody ran. Yeah, I know him. my shit, man. <laughs> like, I, yeah, I, I get it, buddy. But there's no, there's no CIs. There's no fucking. He didn't do undercover sales. The, if they arrested him, they reported it. So the cops were interviewing yes. neighbors Chuck, or whatever. They found no, anything. Chuck Reeves was in the back of a fucking ambulance, and he made a fucking report. Exactly. The simple. cops mean that means the cops have a report that's called the discovery. Yeah. Weird and and they watched the videos and then they went to talk to CPN and then they arrested him. Exactly. So they have some kind of evidence against him. I mean, he could be that all discovery. day long, but I'm pretty sure he knows all that. There's no, no, there's you don't, they don't tell you bullshit when you get arrested. They tell you what you get charged with and that's it. You don't know all the details and proof that they have until you get your discovery. He knows that's he hit him lawyer, in the head with a hammer. That's what the lawyer and the DA gets. The cops give the law, the DA and the lawyer. All right, I gotta go, discovery. Blue. Take care. God damn, that guy's a fucktard and doesn't know shit. <laughs> All right then. Um, damn, the chat is going crazy tonight. Um, I'm telling you, man, you can look it up. I'm, I know my shit. I've been through the system, man. <laughs> I just don't know the exact laws because I'm in California, not fucking Virginia or wherever the fuck they're at doing this shit. The only well, difference yeah, is the laws. It's the still all the same process. Now, if if somebody came to repo my car where I live and I shot them in the back, I would go to jail. Yeah, and it depends also, where exactly. It depends Kentucky, where you're though, at. In Kentucky and Virginia, though, you these are open carry states, so you're held to a different standard with a firearm than California. Well, in California, uh, they're they're. They're totally against firearms in California. And like I said, the guy doing I mean, the shooting didn't get arrested. The, my buddy, the repo man, got arrested and shot. As soon as he got out of the hospital, they were fucking, they, they booked him into jail and fucking he had to face charges for that shit. No, I mean, you are talking about a liberal state, though, but I mean, go figure. But that's what I'm saying. It's, <laughs> like, where you're talking about where it's open carry, where they, like, where gun, you know, they're cool with guns. You know, it's totally different. Like, <laughs> yeah, because they're in, in, in they're Virginia, like I said, they're against guns in California, and they were like, protecting the guy who shot <laughs> the whole situation. That's why I say, if like if someone was repoing my car and I shot him, I would probably go to jail for attempted murder. Yeah, it all depends on what the cops charged him with, and well. well. As a person, and then it'll be to... public record as soon as he gets booked in and they do all the paperwork. Then you just look up Raya's name and shit, and it'll tell you everything that you know his charges, as, everything, as every person, penal code, everything. <laughs> as a person who lives in Virginia, I can tell you right now, it depends on the judge you get that day. It no. depends if the oh, judge is nice and, and the, sweet the and will actually listening. help you out. Or it depends if the judge is just an asshole and wants to make an example of you. The judge doesn't do anything. It's the DA prosecuting him. It's the D or the lawyer defending him. Depends the judge on just sits how there much and says, evidence, okay. which apparently the judge only does sentencing. <laughs> well, that that's what I was going to say. In in a state, which like where you live, California is a state, but technically, even though Kentucky and Virginia are labeled states, they're actually commonwealths and yep. have different different structures and legal litigations and if the commonwealth picks it up that judge can make his own determinations about exactly the, the judge is going to listen to whatever the da and lawyer have to say and decide whether it's a bullshit case or not the, the judge doesn't have anything to the, the da's the, the district attorney is the one who's going to go after him if they decide to if they feel like they got a good case on him, what most likely they're going to do, they're going to throw him on probation for three years and then hope he violates, which it's very, very hard not to violate. I'm telling you, 
as I've already seen people go into court over here, some judges are not fucking nice. I know. Well, judges they are all will, judges are assholes. They I mean, will prosecute. The judge can't prosecute. To. It's the DA prosecutes. The judge is just there to hear the case, and he decides if they get convicted by a jury or whatever. What he needs to do is demand a speedy trial, which is 15 days, and get it going quick before they can get any more evidence or anything against him. That's what he needs to do. If he knows his shit or if his shit's together. But I don't know. If he doesn't have priors, he doesn't know the system very well, you never know. Like I said, the judge ain't got nothing to do with this shit. The judge is only going to matter when it comes down to sentencing. He's going to have to be out of jail to make that work in a state. Well, yeah, he'll bail out. His bail's not going to be that. Like I said, you bail out... You say your bail's two hundred fifty thousand dollars, like mine was. I I called a bail agency from jail, and they said, "Okay, you got any collateral?" Blah blah blah. Yeah, I put on my house. I only had to pay the bail bondsman ten percent of the two hundred fifty grand, and he got me out that night. If he doesn't have the money, and I had to go to court though. Now I didn't jump bail. I didn't run away. I went to court like I was supposed to every fucking month, and. He's going to bail out if he works and has money, and I'm sure he does. He is working, and she's probably got a little money saved up. I imagine. I don't know his financial situation, but like I said, he most likely will bail out. They'll throw him on probation, and hopefully he doesn't violate. I, I personally, this is what I, I think he'll be placed on house arrest for 30 days, and they'll make him come No. Out. That's only if he's convicted. Way. They can't put They're you not. on house arrest until you're convicted. He'd have to go through the whole court process. Or well, he's going to sign a plea deal. He's either going to sign the deal. The DA is going to be like, look, okay, we're going to take this felony and we'll drop it to a, a misdemeanor. Sign here or three years probation. Then he'll decide if he wants to fight it. If not, he'll sign the plea deal. And just take the misdemeanor or eat it or whatever. I mean, like I said, I don't know the case, but I will as soon as it all gets processed and booked because I'll look it up. And then I'll know more of it. And like I said, it all depends what those fucking shitty ass cops said in the report. And that's all I'm saying. The police, the police out here can say whatever the fuck they want to say. Exactly. They lie like mother. My own lawyer told me cops lie worse than he does. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I think the Commonwealth will take it. They'll take what their police say for face value. Well, yeah. I mean, most likely they're gonna corrupt. offer him. They're gonna offer him a deal though. And if he has no priors, he's going to get off pretty good other than probation because they're going to expect him to fail probation because it's very easy to do that. Like I said, he can jaywalk, and that's a violation of probation. Go to jail, you know? Bop ain't no joke, I heard. It's like boot camp. Violation of probation. Oh, someone's back. Violation of probation. That's what they say about California, you know? Come to California on vacation, leave on probation. <laughs> like, all right. So I looked it up. So, um, so the his charge was malicious. Um, what was it? Malicious. Battery. Malicious wounding. Wounding. Okay. So the other Not charge. Just his charges. Hold on. That's, hey, listen, listen, Colty, buddy. Listen, can you just? Hold on and let me well, do your for a minute. Card. You don't know what you're talking about, dude. Listen, I just by talking oh, to oh my god. Hey, Blue, can you fucking just put this guy on pause for a minute? Because he interrupts everybody. You. I don't yeah, interrupt thank everybody. You. Thank you, please. Yeah, I, on, on. Hear I couldn't even. I couldn't even say anything because he just just interrupted me. So I, I just want to get this. Okay. So the his the original charge they gave him is this serious felony. Five to twenty year, hundred thousand dollars. The similar charge is um, like an intentional, um, an intentional um, uh, wounding, which is uh, like a heat of a passion, where the it's pretty much the exact. If you look it up in Virginia, it's pretty much exactly what happened to um, CPN. Like the victim came. Like it, it, I can't look, I can't, um, I can't put it up because that'll kick me out, obviously, if I click on it. But if you look up, if you look up, um, on Google and then it'll tell you the other charge right under it, which is a one to five year, it's still a felony, but it seems like they even charged him with the wrong one because if it's a heat of the passion, it's not malicious, it's like it plan on hurting this guy. 
you know, the other guy came to his house. So it even seems like they overcharged him to begin with. Yeah, that's what they do. It's like if you commit murder and it in in manslaughter. There are two different things, but you still killed somebody, is what you're saying. Hmm. I, th- yeah. I think it was called, hold on. What is it called? I mean, that's what it sounds like to me. Like, if you kill somebody, you can get charged with a few different things. You can get charged with murder one, two, and three. Like, you could get. It depends if you had intent. If you intended to kill that person, if you had intent, it depends. There's a whole bunch of things that can go with it. No, I mean, that's, a, that, that's irrelevant. I mean, I'm saying the charges he's listing, though. Are listed. It's got a broad category spectrum, is what I think he's trying to say. Well, That's, these are uh, these are I, sorry, these, yeah, these are according to the Virginia where he's our laws. So the first one is what they charge him with malicious wounding, is the class three felony, five to twenty, and then the other one, which is like an unintentional wounding, which is the crime of a passion, like a wounding. Uh, the like the victim shows up to your house spousal issues it's like literally exactly what happened to cpn um like he still hurt the guy but it was not like he planned to maim or or kill him like it happened he probably shouldn't have hit him in the head with a hammer but it's not like he went looking out he didn't go to chuck's house chuck came to him so it really seems like they overcharged him to begin with you know, still one to five years, it's a felony. But if he can, if he gets a good lawyer, then yeah, and it's his first time offense, it's a lot better than a five to 20. But it's getting late. I got to go. I hope you guys have a good night. I hope CPN gets that. I mean, obviously silly what he did, but, you know, uh, I'm sure that when he looks up, I'm sure he'll look up all these statues and stuff and realize that he's probably been overcharged and realize he's got to buy a good lawyer and stuff. So, but you guys have a good night. All right, and Chad. I didn't mean to come off too hard on you there, Colin. I just wanted to get that off before I had to go to bed. It's all good, man. All right, take care. Wow. Mind fucked. Um, just a quick heads up. I'm going to be releasing the uh, Violent J diss track from Blase Rose on the um, sister channel of JDA. Um, JDO. Keep an eye out for that. If you didn't already, click the link in CPN's video um, about the uh, the diss track he leaked. Um, I'm going to be leaking it on YouTube as well. Um, cool. Hell yeah. Yeah. That is a good point. What's that? Where did I see that? I just saw. Wait a minute. Where did I see that comment at? Chat's moving so fast, huh? <laughs> yeah, I know, man. It's just a it's a pop at night. Uh, yeah, he's a black female juggalo arrested for a violent crime in a southern state. He's not in a good position. That's another that that's another reason why I think the Commonwealth will pick it up and he's fucked. You see what I'm saying? Mm. Yep. I mean, you have to understand how the, the, the southern states work, how commonwealth states work, as opposed to out west in, in a state like California or Washington, where a crime like this can be reduced. But because of just that point right there, it, it, there some of these states and these little towns operate like fucking third world countries when they arrest people. Man, they just don't care. and They throw the book at you. And that's what I mm-hmm. think is going to happen. I think if he gets out of jail, he'll be on house arrest of some kind until he goes back to court. And then they're going to design that to fuck him because they fuck a lot of people where I live with house arrest. Yeah, um, but they can't put him on house arrest in this home, convicted. For example, you can be arrested for escape, and then that's another felony charge. That's no, what I he'll be out on bail. Go. If he jumps bail, the bounty hunter will come looking for him. They won't put him on house arrest unless he's convicted. And he hasn't what been convicted. I, he's just being charged. What did I miss here? You missed a lot, dope fiend. CPN <laughs> hit Chuck Reeves with a hammer. CPN hit Chuck Reeves what? in the head with a hammer. And he got arrested. CPN is in jail right now. Oh, what? You missed a lot, man. <laughs> Juggalos are awesome. I love y'all, man. This is fucking... <laughs> Talk about entertainment. 
You're the man, Blue. You can't make this shit up. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Wait, is, so, okay, because I remember seeing a video uh, where Chuck Reeves had like chimed in for like 30 seconds. Was was he for real at CPN's crib? Is that what that was? Yeah. He was at Roxy Red's crib. He's fucking Roxy Red. Chuck was yelling, I'm fucking your wife. I'm fucking your wife. I mean, yeah, there's rumors and speculations yeah. until actually if Roxy Red actually confirms that, though, in my opinion. I'm just saying. And what, so CPM went over there and fucking saying, hit dude with a hammer? No. That's what I'm saying. Wait, no. Chuck no, came Chuck to his can... house and he hit him with a hammer. Yeah. <laughs> or threw it at him. I don't know if he threw it at him, hit him, but I know a hammer was involved. <laughs> but Chuck came to his pad. Yeah. Damn, man. That's fucked up, bro. Yeah. Mm. And uh, I wouldn't doubt it if Chuck has a concussion. He better not go to sleep for a few hours just in <laughs> case. I um, hope he's got a concussion. Hopefully he needed stitches. Fuck Chuck Reeves. He's a punk. Right. I used to fuck guys like Chuck Reeves in prison. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> Little midgets with foot long beards looking like a leprechaun and shit. Oh, yeah. Sweet boys. That's what we called them. That's just, dude, this whole thing is just unfortunate, man. I mean, this is, I, I, I don't know, man. I have things I want to say. I just don't know where to place them because I honestly don't know these people. <laughs> I mean, I know they're, they're online personalities and whatnot, but it's like, it's just, this is just sad, man. I think it's sad for CPN. I mean, I think he got the raw end of the deal, but. Like I said, it'll all come out in, you know, the next month or two. And No, nah, I mean, uh, he should have just, I mean, if you're going to be done with a chick, man, be done with a chick. You know, you can't be, con I understand your ex-wife, whatever, man, but if you're walking away from the situation and you got to walk away from the situation, you can't fuck around with, you know, with. And pussy's you know, a powerful I thing, man. I mean, oh, it is. Oh no, I mean, don't, don't get me. I'm 35 years old, bro. Don't trust me. I've been, I've been in positions. You know what I'm saying? Maybe like a, a few times. Now, you know, the, my baby's mama in the last the relationship I was in. You know, I went through a lot of shit, man. Yeah, you're right. Pussy is a powerful thing. I, I guess I'm just blessed because I just turned that shit off, man. There ain't a bitch <laughs> on this fucking planet that can fucking smirk me from fucking feeling it. See, that's that smart. Headphones. That is very smart. To do that, <laughs> but 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 I but it's. I've hard been divorced it, three times. Trust me, I get it. <laughs> right, give it up, man. <laughs> uh, with y'all's uh, assessment of this, CPN is not as much shit. Is not in such a bad place as y'all think. Exactly. Because yeah, he's got the what state. What state was he in? He's in Virginia. Virginia. Okay. But and y'all keep bringing up the black and Latino mix, but this motherfucker looks white. It don't matter. Race ain't got shit to do with it. Man. Nope. Virginia don't yeah, fuck around. Yeah, I know, I, I, actually, I know that. Man. I don't know if you no, guys Virginia. know. Uh, I don't know if you guys know who he's, Jay Williams he's is. He's the one color that fuck. He, he's the one color that fucking matters. He's got green. He, I, exactly. I mean, that's what he says. He I don't who know. has the gold makes the rules. Always been that way. Always will. Be. Here's the thing, man. The only, I don't know Raya from a YouTube video, bro. You know what I mean? He, so it's like say what's in another man's wallet, shit. Yeah, you know I mean that's that's what that's what he says. That's what a lot of people say. I mean, I know he's not a dumb cat, but I mean, I don't know what happened, man. You know, so I'm like I said, I'm just I'm just chiming in, man. I I really ain't got no dog in this fight. I think it's I think it's unfortunate for him to get off the court. Hmm. All I know is that divorce is gonna get nasty. I can't. I wouldn't even fucking want to be in the same state to witness that shit. <laughs> oh my god. I, he shouldn't have brought. They shouldn't have brought it on the mainstream, man. They should exactly. have. Exactly. If any of them were guys were as any sort of professionals as they claim to be with their shit, man, then they would never ever have brought that into the mainstream. Uh, that's, that's the biggest problem. problem is they made it public. That was yeah, the dumbest you can't thing to do. do. That, man. Yeah. You keep like your mouth a, shut. <laughs> like a uh, a fucking the, the you know the juggalo version of fucking Johnny Depp, man. Like it just. I, I don't. Yeah, know. it kind of is, man. Yeah, as far as the. Uh, Juggle those shit goes, dude. But it's just like you know, he he was wrong for coming out and saying all that crazy. I know he was mad that he went on the the outcast owl shit or whatever it's called. I'm I'm new to this shit, you know. I fucking uh <laughs> this shit's just wild though. <laughs> <In the dark. laughs> but, 
But it's like <laughs> it's interesting. I started I started following this shit because I just got out of jail April oh, 22nd. Shit. I wasn't doing nothing crazy. I don't even got a parking ticket, homie. I was in there for contempt because I'm fighting for my uh, I'm fighting for uh, custody of my kids, and I said some shit in court that was wild to the judge, and they gave me 120 days. And both times they they sent me two letters when I was in jail saying if I would come through and apologize that they would let me out, and I said no both times. So fuck yeah, right on, my brother. Keep fighting the good fight, dude. I'm saying, dude. And, I got a couple. Actually, I got a couple contempt too, so I'm all about that. Yeah, fuck that, man. When it comes to my kids, they they the number one. We getting off subject that we ain't talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking uh, what, what are we talking about? Actually, I'm kind of high. I'm sorry. Um, CPN getting yeah, this arrested. Whole, yeah, CPN, <laughs> Roxy, Red, all this shit, dude. It's like, dude, like chicks are gonna be chicks, man. And you know what, dude? She's got. You know she was gonna go online and say some dumb shit, man. But that whole like f- almost four hour fucking thing that he dropped, and I listened to the whole thing when I was at work because I got it like that at my job. <laughs> fucking like, dude, he sh- there's a lot of shit he shouldn't have said, man. Like you putting out like if you love somebody, if you really love somebody, man, you're not gonna put their their fucking dirt out there like that. Man. You know what I mean? And it was low class, and I'm saying, and it's like, but like the thing I don't see, I tried so hard. Like I used to be a CPN hater, and then he came out saying some real shit, and I was like, okay, you know, and I would change my mind, and I would go back to him being a hater, and then this time he had me again, like, okay, he's making some sense on some shit. I went to jail, I come out, and all this shit's happening, and it's like fucking this whole time he's like, you know, like he he tries to like pride himself on being a fucking guy that's just like. I totally don't give a fuck. But no, dude, you do totally give a fuck because you address every little fucking thing that comes your way. <laughs> you know what I mean? You put all your fucking business out there. You gotta and... understand he was hurt probably. I mean, like said, girls, I mean, pussy's a powerful thing, man. And Bro, you, gotta look, you gotta look I'm... at it like this. Anything that bleeds for seven days and doesn't die is a fucking monster. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I mean, you I already... don't know about all that, but... <laughs> Now here's the thing, dude. I ain't really got shit to even do with like the pussy or nothing, dude. Like it's your mind frame, bro. It's his it's his mind frame to fucking put that shit out, out there online and shit, dude. And it's like I do, you know, even it, and the same I thing do. with Becky and shit being like, you know, bringing up Jay and shit. You think Jay honestly gives a fuck about any of this shit? Like if there was a text message that was sent, I could imagine violent Jay sitting there chilling, being like, What? <laughs> I mean, you know I mean, like, you really fuck, you know, we whole, fuck about that shit, man. If you really just split the whole relationship down the middle, neither one of them are innocent for what's going I, on. I mean, oh no, there, there's no, there's no halo over anybody's head in the situation, as far as I can see. But it's like my whole, my whole thing is, I, I guess it's just like a preference for me, dude. Is like putting this shit out there in the mainstream. You know, what I mean, for everybody to fucking see, it's like that's just stupid to me because. You know, even even if you were just like, okay, we broke up and shit, dude. Keep doing your thing, keep doing this. It's like, but like the whole like death the CPN if they broke up and shit. That's some simp ass shit, bro. And I can't get behind that. You know what I mean? It's like fucking. What the fuck are you doing, man? You're letting a fucking chick, fucking that you claim has all these fucking flaws and all that shit you said, but yet she's completely letting you crumble and fucking. You know what I mean? It's causing the death of you, and you're putting it out there for everyone to see. But then when you're on like. A live stream and she you try to sound like you're on top, dude. It's like, dude, no. <laughs> this real shit. You know what I mean? Like, if you're hurt, you're hurt. Then fucking go and fucking lick those wounds and come back when you're ready, man. Don't address the bullshit. That's yeah, there's what I There's plenty would of do. pussy out there, you know? There's plenty dude, of it. Man, there's over fucking dude, there's like fucking nine point five billion women out there, man. <laughs> <laughs> Straight the fuck up, and it's like, and I feel where he's coming from. Cause I mean, like, I never did no YouTube shit. I'm not really active in the YouTube community, but I've made a lot of Facebook stupid posts. You know what I mean? With 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 a lot of bitches, bro. And it's like, you know, you think it's fucking, especially with the last one I was with, man. I've been single for two years, but in fucking uh, 2020, I was engaged to be married, dude, with a chick for almost six years, man. And when that shit came down, dude, I would post this crazy shit and put all my business out there. I'm actually glad I went to jail for contempt, dude. It gave me a chance to be like, all right, man, get off the fucking internet. <laughs> yeah, freedom is a beautiful thing once you're in, man. <laughs> right. You take a lot of shit for granted until you go to jail and... But I guess I'm just blessed in that area right now, man, because you know what? There's not 
a woman alive that can hurt me. But I got kids and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I got two daughters. Those are the only women I want in my life right now. If I meet a cool chick and we bang and shit like that, that's one thing. But I will never let a chick into my fucking heart. And I feel what CPN is going through. But he's going to, he's handling it completely fucked up, man. And now look what happened. Yeah, I mean, CPN, where, where I think he messed up is he shouldn't have responded to the, I forget the name of it. Night out. I forget what the channel is, but I feel stupid now for misquoting maybe what the channel's name was. But Roxy Red and Blase appeared on some like juggle over related YouTube channel. We'll just put it at that. And so she was the one that kind of initiated this, this public thing. But I think where she really messed up was just responding. He just not responded to it. Like exactly. before he even got arrested, I was in the comment. It's like, dude, let it go, bro. Just stop. Let the shit go. And it, don't listen to Mike. You know, he don't know what he's talking about. You know, now you're in jail because you didn't listen to me. You know what I'm saying? Like you should have what 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 CPM really should have did was when they knocked on the door, you know, you keep on knocking, but you can't come in because they don't have a warrant. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to open the fucking door. You feel what Wait, I'm saying? So hey, I don't mean to interrupt you, Mike. I'm sorry. My name's Mike, too, by the way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking, uh, like, I need a recap. Like, what the fuck actually happened with Chuck? Like, what do you guys know? What, like, what, what happened? <laughs> That's what I'm missing Chuck out of, like, right now. The other night, Chuck Reeves came on. Um, well, CPN was on Bartle Boss and the Dead Guy show on Friday night. And uh, Chuck Reeves joined the stream and was like, CPN, uh, you know, like a, you're a Juggernauti Chomo supporter and shit. I hope you have a good night because I know I am. And he showed that he was in Roxy Red's house, CPN's wife's house. You know what I mean? And uh, so that set CPN off the deep end. That's one thing I forgot to mention. CPN tried committing suicide because of that shit. He tried choking himself out, but he woke up. Do so how did, so how did how did further back how did that, that how did I'm talking about like how did it happen with the hammer and shit what the fuck oh Chuck showed up the CPN's house Roxy Red gave Chuck CPN's address and Chuck showed up the CPN's house and he charged that CPN so CPN bashed him in the head with a hammer and the hammer went flying and then Chuck picked up the hammer and almost came a CPN but then he left with the hammer so he stole the hammer and left. Grand Theft Hammer. The thing, that I think the thing that fucks me up, though, what? is the whole allegation what? about the Termosis thing. Like, why would you air that kind of dirty laundry across the fucking internet? Right, and that's what I'm saying. If it like, hurt it or not, this, is, this could have all been avoidable. I mean, we all know Chuck Reeves is a dick, man, and that's a flex for him. I mean, I don't know why that'd be a flex for him. Like, here's my thing. is like everybody's claiming they're doing this big shit, you know what I'm saying? But then you're, like, lowering yourself to fucking with chicks like that. Like, yep. I don't know Roxy or anything like that, dude, but it's like she's nothing to write home about. She's mediocre at best. She's not that good looking. Her her raps are her, you know, I mean, I've heard whacker fucking female rap, rap, you know what I'm saying, rappers, but it's like, this shit is just, I don't understand, like, what's the end game in all this? Like, now there's, like, charges and shit, like, these motherfuckers are stupid. On all, all across the board. Yeah, and her pussy's all blown out. See, CPN does have one more thing on his side, because Shuck's moves were premeditated. Right. You know what yeah, I mean? Now, yeah, I, now, well, you already know these motherfuckers ago. don't you already know, you nigga. Know, I'm, is, 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 is Chuck in custody too? I don't know. Not, not as far as I know. You already be. know. You already know these motherfuckers done videotaped all types of shit. So it's like if they get a hold of Chuck's phone, Chuck would not be. Chuck would not do good in jail. Would not. Do I mean, these motherfuckers good. are gonna do good in jail. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm from Kenosha, Wisconsin, man, where all that shit went down with Kyle Rittenhouse, bro. I was just in jail, fucking. These cats ain't gonna last in jail. There ain't no juggalo gang. Oh, exactly. And where they at? You said they're in Virginia, bro. They're in Virginia. Yeah, I know cats in Virginia. Virginia ain't no joke, bro. But he was on. He was on this this channel saying that by Monday, someone's going to jail. Yeah, I don't know. Saying he this had shit. this shit planned. It's unfortunate, man. I don't know. Premeditated snitching. 
Hey, I'm glad it ain't me. They were going to try to get. Won't ever be me. Yeah, they were going to try to get CPN for breaking into Roxy's house and stalking her. You know, I think that's what it was supposed to be. But bro, then this shit no. in the night. CPN weird as hell too, bro. Because you know what? When I would have been, my wife, my fucking wife, a bitch, I put a ring on and marry and take vows with. Give me an STD. I'm all right there, bro. I'd have kicked that bitch in her fucking chest. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have been out. So uh, yeah, yeah kids would kick that bitch. Exactly. It's like fuck that. Straight the fuck up, man. Like I don't know. God bless him. That's all I can say, man. I'll throw up some <laughs> prayers for him. But... Yeah, I mean, when he was describing it and shit, like I'm like, dude, why would you be even like? Talking about like STIs and shit, like on YouTube. Well, that's coming out your dick. Well, bro, because here's dead. the thing, man. Like, here's the thing, dude. CPN, I always like when I first heard about him and shit. When he like with the MNE shit, when he got punched in the face and shit. I I don't know if you guys know about like LSP and shit, Dark Half. I fucking roll with those guys hardcore. We were doing a lot of work with MNE when that shit happened. And I remember talking to Dustin and shit, man. And fucking, he and. He, like, I really didn't give a fuck about what I, I, I just didn't give a fuck, but it was just fun to me because I knew who CPN was and fucking like I was going somewhere with this. Mm. Oh, Dustin's a bitch too, though. So, oh, dude, everybody's got problems. Now. Yeah, everyone's a fucking yeah. asshole. You know? Yeah, like I don't, I don't, you know what I mean? Like I, don't, I'm different when it comes to that shit, man. Like fucking, I don't. I have acquaintances, man. I have family and acquaintances. I don't do the whole friend thing or this. Yeah. <laughs> Family's more important. I don't try to think. I know I was going some. I'm sorry, dude. I'm dude, I don't smoke weed a lot. And I this is like my only day off, and I smoked a bunch of weed today. <laughs> uh anyway, fucking so when that shit happened with CP and M and E and shit, I was hearing a lot of shit about it. And, like, I remember what, that's when I started watching his videos and shit. And I just noticed that this dude is, like, he's socially awkward. He's, he, he regurgitates this everything off of, like, Fago lovers and shit. You know what I mean? Like, I could, like, I'm almost to the point of plagiarism. You know what I mean? <laughs> Where, like, I remember reading, would read shit on Fago lovers and then I'd watch one of his videos about the same kind of topic. And it would just be, like, like, damn near like he was reading off the website and shit. And then with the whole carnival of coonery and shit like that, dude. It's like, and then he says, like, he's fucking, he, you know, I, I guess he's black or whatever, dude. But it's like, man, like, like just like a whole bunch of crazy shit. And it's like, he, he thinks like, like I said, he's one of them dudes that says he doesn't give a fuck, but you can tell he totally gives a fuck about everything. Well, he had to stop the coon <laughs> shit because Roxy's dad is black. So she was like, well, hey, dude, you gotta like, but, but here's the thing. If you're fucking, if you're half, if you're half black, man, like I'm adopted, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm white as they come. I'm Irish. Like, fucking, I've never met my biological family, but, like, we got a family crest. And I know all about the shit. And it's like, I'm adopted by all Mexicans, man. You know what I mean? So it's like, fucking, I kind of, like, took offense to that shit because, like, all my family is Mexican and black people. But it's like, if you're, like, half black, like, I don't know many black people. I remember I asked them. I'm blue shit, I think, before I got locked up. I don't know if you remember that blue. I asked him about the whole carnival of coonery thing and he was like well you know i'm half black and he all you know he took his hat off and shit and i'm just like all right he's like it's a black thing and i'm like yeah dude but i hang around like i'm saying all my roommates are black <laughs> and fucking none of them run around calling each other coon ever <laughs> I, <laughs> i've never heard I, I, no shit I, like that you know what i mean like i love I, the coon thing i love the coon thing that's cool man i, I mean I think a lot of whatever, a lot man. of his show is centered around shock value though too yeah so, it's right, it's it's, but he's showing me his actions that's what i'm trying to say when he's showing me his actions at the way he's handling his life brother this dude has no fucking clue what's going on man like good old captain so professional Kuchin. So paid and shit, man. If I was so paid and so professional, bro, I wouldn't give a fuck about none. Of it. I, would, I would not be on the internet right now. I mean, I know one night I was on a stream on here with Blue, and he was he was saying things for shock value, and I just kind of laughed that stuff off. And I tell you, my my wife was pretty pissed. She's like, "Who is that you're talking to?" You know what I'm saying? Because of the the language he was using in the words and stuff, and. But Bro, I'm so get, used to that that even when I'm on YouTube, like if I'm walking down the street, somebody's like, you know, take your 
black ass back downtown to the West End or something. Or, you know, they'll call her like fucking Uncle Tom or I'm an <laughs> N-word lover, or just things like that. So I'm used to the shit to the point that now it just doesn't even even like when what Chance the, was on here. Remember right when on. Chance was on here blue and he like fucking went Andrews off. Are taking over. <laughs> nah, I like no, nah, and I feel you, man, because I mean I have that. I have a dark sense of humor too, and like I'm saying, especially with the race shit. I don't know, dude. It just it rubbed me the wrong way, and I even showed it to some of my people that have nothing to do at all with the fucking Juggalo community. I mean, absolutely nothing. I like have them watch some of this shit with me, and a lot of them are like, "Dude, ain't black." What I'm getting, but but it's like, but this like the whole like, thing what with, the, with the carnival of coonery and shit. Like it offends it offends a lot of black people, bro. It really does. Like everybody, why they're like, what, what the fuck is doing? At the end shit. of the day, man, like it, it's words, and you choose right. to exercise how you take what people say to you. Oh no, no doubt. Like, see, I'm grown enough to get it. I'm just saying, like, for his sake, like, fucking, you know, I mean, I'm not trying to say like I'm Mister Gangster Paradise and shit, but no, I grew up in the hood. Fucking, yeah. you know, like I, my, the majority of the people I fuck with are African American and Hispanic, and I mean, and my, my family wife. is one hundred percent African American and and Hispanic, fifty fifty, and it's just like, like you know that shit. I don't know, it's just, like me personally, man. You know what I mean? Like I, I get the humor. Like I can, you know, I'm I'm one of the people that can look at it at face value. I can read between the lines. It's just not funny to me, man. That's just my, you know. Yeah, I mean, that, that door swings both ways, too. Exactly. No, exactly. It does. Because comedy I, I is subjective, bro. Comedy is very subjective. Dude. And she well, told me, she was like, I think black folks tend to be more racist than white people when it comes to our relationship for those that are racist. And I was like, no, it's just the black folks are just more prone to saying it now because of the – the BML movements or BLM movements and just all that stuff and the community, yep. we live, they're just more open to saying it. Where if you're on the fucking city bus, the old white lady's just going to mean mug you and not say nothing. It don't mean that they're not thinking the same way, but the mentality is still the same. You see, see that's, that, that, that's, a, that's like stereotypical though. See, I'm not racist, but I'm very stereotypical. Like this, this, this earlier today, man, I walked down. I don't live in the best neighborhood, and I fucking was walking down to the store, and I seen a bunch of motherfuckers in red walking down the street and shit, and they were probably, like, in their fucking late teens to early 20s, and stereotypically, I'm just like, ah, shit. <laughs> See, I'm told I'm racist, you know but I'm like, like... It wasn't that they were black. It's because they're gangbangers, and I fucking don't want to get shot. Like, I yeah. can say I'm not racist because I hate everyone equally, so how can I be racist, you know? If I hate everyone, no, and I feel that man. It's like you know, no, nah, it's I don't, I don't think the kid's racist or nothing, man. I just you know, you put you push the envelope with that shit, man. Like you know, if you're outside, if you raise, a, if you're if you're raising a Nazi flag in your fucking neighborhood and seat yeah. hell, I know some, I I know some evil racist motherfuckers, man. It was shock yeah. value. It's entertainment. All it is. Nah, I can, yeah, like I said, comedy is is subjective. Yep. You know? Look at Will Smith. He went live on camera and slapped the shit out of Chris Rock and got away with it scot free. You know, he might get sued <laughs> civilly, but he can't go to the Oscars. For yeah, man. Like, who gives Will a fuck? Smith, you don't if that was me, or, if that was me or any of you guys that did that live on camera, we our asses would be in jail for assault. <laughs> Bro, I'd be fucking. Man. I'm telling you right now, I'd be fucking. Uh, I'd be eating them donuts downtown, lifting weights. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, but yo, man, it was nice talking to you guys, man. I gotta work in the morning, man. Uh, Blue, always a pleasure. Uh, yeah, man. Hopefully, we can all get together and talk again, man. I had a really good time talking to you guys, man. All right, Hell dude. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Hey, man, you guys take it easy, man. Whoop whoop, all that. Much whoop, love, whoop. man. Y'all be safe tonight. Yep. Peace. Adios, amigos. So, yeah, I guess everyone's going to be, um, you know, sitting on the edge of their seats waiting for CPN to make a video when he gets out of jail. You know, of course, he's probably going to bail himself out because um, he's, a, he's you know, self-paid or whatever, self-made. Um, what a plot twist. What if fucking Roxy's dad bails him out? Now, that's something. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, man. I can't believe this shit. You got to keep us updated, Blue, on all this. 
Well, I work, well, I work well. a lot, man. So, <laughs> well, I'm going to be posting the um the Violent J diss track from oh, Blase Blues and Roxy Red. There's a diss track here that I'm going to be posting on the uh, the sister channel, Juggalo Drama Online. Um, wow, I don't know. I'm. Just, this has been a crazy fucking week. First the Shane Coach shit. Now all this shit with CPN. What the fuck is next, fam? Well, so how about is your legal troubles good, Blue? Are you good on that now? Or yeah, all yeah. charges were dropped. The fuck yeah, that's right. That's right, brother. Right on. Yeah. Maybe I'll be the first juggalo musician to get shot in the back like fucking goddamn John Lennon or something. Then maybe that'll be the next thing you hear. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I want to see this knot on um, Chuck's head from the hammer. Me too. I want to see it so bad. Well, that they'll have a pic. It'll be public because it's public information. As soon, I'm sure the cops took pictures. So as soon as they get, like I said, all that shit posted, it'll all be out there. Mm-hmm. Publication. Yep. CPN's um, body cam footage and shit like that. Yeah. His uh his uh camera that's in his fucking room or whatever that caught these fools vandalizing his shit like. Mhm. Yeah, there's a lot to this story. It's gonna be interesting the next couple fucking months, man. Only thing is, it's all because of a woman, like a woman. Exactly, who women are fucking evil. Pure concentrated evil women are. Gee, thanks. Well, sorry, <laughs> I, 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 I've been through three divorces, so <laughs> I don't necessarily agree with that statement. I mean, I've been with the same woman for sixteen years, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? only I thing think... is, some women know how to mentally fuck a man up enough, exactly. Right, where if they do shit like this, it's normal to them at this point. Yeah. If he really was done with her, even if he was in the middle of a divorce proceeding, he would have actually moved out of state. I'm sorry to say it. I'm going to say it that way. He would have moved out out of state. If well, he, he was, was truly state, fucking done. Back, he was out of state, but then he moved back into state, he said, for work. And you got to understand, they're still married, so there's a big process with that, too. I mean, right. Like I said, I've been divorced three times, and each one took a fucking over a year in court to deal with all this shit. <laughs> yeah, but but some women are hard to quit, especially when you stick your dick in crazy. I'm just going to say it that way. <laughs> stick your dick in crazy and all you're going to have is a hard fucking time. I mean, I, I, I'll say this. I'm, I, I, I love my wife enough that like, if, if something happened to her, uh, I'm not going to make the assumption of like divorce or anything like that, but like if something just happened to her, I'm in the bed with her every like we go to sleep in, in the same spot every night. And we've done that for over 10 years. So if she died or something like that in itself would be hard. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I get partially the issue and then, and then if you have a breakup and you're in that situation so like with cpn he probably was with this one i'm not sure how long their marriage was prior Two to years. Their relationship Two years. Was prior to their marriage but what i'm saying is is if they they spent a year and a half sleeping together doing things together and i'm talking about sex i'm just talking about like everyday life around each other and then all of a sudden that's severed yep that that can affect a man's Emotional attachment, I would think. Well, okay. What up, Grin? What up, fam? Chilling. Yeah, I, I see what's up already, man. I watched that live with uh, CPN. That's uh, man, that was something. Was it on camera with him hitting him with the hammer, or did that not get shown? Or does it anyone know? Have been on Chuck Reeves, but I was watching CPN's live, and all I had was the audio. 
um, you didn't really get to see him get hit, but um, I, I know that um, later on in the live, uh, CPN did state that you know he kind of just ran up to him and then he hit him in the head with a hammer. <laughs> it didn't really, ha- it, it didn't really seem like that had happened because it sounded like he like ran up to him and then like got like nose to nose with him and like was talking shit. And then, well, like, it wouldn't be nose to nose because Chuck's only three foot eleven. So, well, you get what I'm saying, though, fam. <laughs> yeah, right? I know. I'm just joking. But it looks like they were sitting there talking for a minute, and all of a sudden, you hear, "Damn, bro, you just hit me in the head with a hammer." And I'm like, <laughs> you know, and I was like, "Damn, you know." That's, yeah, that's I went to go listen crazy. to the. But, uh, I went to go the, to the Blase Rose diss track, and I came back, and I heard them yelling at each other. The phone was set down on CPN stream, and Chuck was just like, "You just hit me in the head with a hammer." Did you record the stream, Blue? No, it's it's on CPN stream. It's still up. Like, the cop ended the stream, and CPN, of course, cannot take it down because he was in bracelets. Yeah, so it's still buffering? Does anyone know? Or... Um, oh, man. I don't know. I, I, I could probably still go back to it and whatnot, but... Uh, like, Fuck, I hope someone me. I recorded it. To, but um, I know when I was watching that, man, the first thing that kind of came to mind is, damn, like, this is this is where... This is like how it is now, cause you know, I I, I kind of peep a lot of Juggalo live shows and whatnot, and I get to see how Juggalos talk to each other and whatnot, and you know, I, it's kind of heartbreaking, man, because the shit that I know and the shit that is being put out there now, it's like, it's hard, bro, cause I'm like, you know, if 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 this was like before the whole ICP twisted breakup thing, this shit would be so weird that two Juggalos are fucking fighting like this, man. You know, I mean, now it's kind of understanding because of the split, but like, you know, just to show how like far this has gotten within our community, you know, that's like, we sh- my opinion is, is like, this is fucked, bro. This is like kind of gotten a bit out of hand. And I know it's entertainment. Like, yo, people are fucking getting off on this shit. Like, yo, this shit's, everybody thinks this shit's funny. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I hit the head with a hammer. You know what I mean? Like, but, uh, like, in all seriousness, though, man, this is, like, this is fucked. Like, this is not what family's about. You know, like, you know, I'm I'm the type of guy that, like, you know, I I think that, um, you know, with, with Juggalo love and whatnot, you know, I feel like a majority of the fam that I've talked to has really shown it. You know, I know a guy from Florida. Um, a lot of you might not know him as a Sidehawk Ninja. Does anybody know who Sidehawk Ninja is? Not ringing a bell. All right, he, he spoke at the uh, he spoke at the march. Um, is and he's got a he had a green mohawk. I don't know if he still has it anymore, but um, like pretty much, um, like I, I you know I was kicking it with him at DCG Con, and he was introducing to me to, to like a lot of fam and whatnot. And it was like the coolest moments like in my entire life just to sit down and like kick it with fam and whatnot. And then you know I uh. I kind of like step back, had to, you know, get my life together and shit. And then I came back into like listening and seeing jugglos and whatnot. And it's turned into something that's like, it's just a, like a drama feeding machine, man. It's like, you know, in my opinion, I, I feel like back in the day, like when ICP, and Twisted first came out, it was more made to fight all this shit, man, because, you know, the entire world creates drama about, like, Drake or fucking, you know, um, like, Will Smith slapping Chris Rock and, you know, like, all that shit, you know, that's, that's shit from the world, man. Like, that's how they work. You know, we're supposed to work like, yo, if you support Twisted, if you support ICP, that's cool on you, bro, okay? I don't fucking hate Blue. Because he supports Twisted, okay? I don't hate anybody for supporting Twisted, you know? Like, if you're into that group, if you're into that band, that's cool, okay? I'm not saying I don't support Twisted. I'm, you know, in my opinion, I feel like, you know, a lot of their older stuff for music is kind of, you know, drifted from what the original message was, you know? You know, that's my opinion, though, from what I've heard, you know? But, um with you know how this is affecting the group like the family as a whole okay our community a juggalo community as a whole like this 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 tonight what happened tonight is like this is how far shit is gonna get and it might get even worse man 
Oh yeah. It could definitely get we could have shootings over this, bro. And it would not surprise me that motherfuckers are shooting over each other. Over some and it it just started with the whole divide thing and now it's working up to other side. It's like branching off, you know, to like, you know, Roxy and CPN shit or whatever the fuck, you know, is going on. You know, like this is just it's it's sad to see, you know, people you know, like fucking busting a nut to the fact that there's bullshit going on, man. Like, you know, you should be feeling like, like, damn, this is uh, this is fucked up that it, this guy is getting pissed off, or this guy is fucking with this guy like that, you know, and, or you know that these two are fighting to the fact that it gets violent. Like, you know, that's 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 fucked, bro. I just mm-hmm. look at it like. CPN is ICP and Chuck Reeves is twisted and I'm all about fuck twisted because they didn't march and they turn their backs on juggalos in my opinion, but that's how I look at it. <laughs> and I wouldn't, you know, disagree with you on that. You know, they did not show up for the march and in turn that did affect juggalos across the, the world because it's like, you know, we supported them guys and they weren't there for that. But at the same time, I could definitely understand why they didn't want to march. Because there's a lot of federal stuff involved with that at the time, and they didn't, you know, want to get involved with that. They're focused on what they wanted to do in life, you know, and what they wanted to do with life is make their own label and potentially from what I know, kind of make their own fan base. Because, I mean, it's cool if they if they want to, like, lift themselves up using, like, you know, somebody else's name. And then branching off. I mean, I'm not saying that's cool, but like this, you know, that's how they did it. You know, they 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 were on ICP's record label. They got famous because everybody that knows ICP, ICP was pushing their stuff. And then after a while, you know, they're like, yo, like. We're going to go and we're going to make our own le- record label and then we're going to try to be independent. And, and that's what fine. Independent it's how they went does, about it is the problem. Yeah, and it's really shitty how they went about it, and and you know I'm you know I I'm, he made the apology video about the march, which is like yo this is your choice whether you want to accept that apology or not, you know. Then again, he was high during that video, so you know, <laughs> you know. But from a professional standpoint, you know if if cops are getting involved with shit, if if federal law is getting involved with shit, that's how you know a. I'm just here for business. I'm just trying to get some money. You know, I'm just trying to push my music out. Okay. I'm just trying to make content for the fans. I'm not trying to fucking become a criminal. You know, now, whether you want to take that as he threw us under the bus or he was like trying to stay a professional, that's up to you. That's up to y'all, you know, but that, I'm not blaming that divide on this situation because it really comes down to these two individuals and their mindset of, you know, what was right and what was wrong. And then, uh, their actions that followed that, you know, like, I don't think that, you know, it's cool to go and poke the bear, you know, and go show up at, you know, um, CPN's place and start hollering about fucking his wife and whatnot. If that happened, you know, I'm, you know, he could just be, you know, saying something just to piss him off, you know, but, uh, you know, if, uh, it's it's just not, I don't think that's, that's family love, you know what I mean? Whether you're, you're twisted or ICP, you know, we're all labeled juggalos because we consider each other family. Okay. So if you're going to roll up on somebody's house and do that, I just don't think that represents family. On the other half, I don't think that hitting him over the head represents family either. (laughs) You know, I, I, I think that uh, I think that's that he should have, you know, like just at the very least, just stayed in his house and let somebody else fucking call the cops on him. You know what I mean? Well, I've gotten in fist fights with my own family members before. I mean, it's it happens. Yeah, Alcohol was involved, but I mean, you know, but um, you know, I mean, if if that was his intentions was to get him to do that, then it definitely worked. You know, like so he got what he wanted. I'm not saying that I got anything against Chuck because, hey, you know, you do you, man. Like, how you want to go about handling your business, you do that. You know what I mean? I just think that, uh, you know, if you're going to be a juggalo, I think that every action that you need to think about is, you know, 
is this family love right here. Like, whether the motherfucker was doing something wrong to you, whether the dude's, like, you think of him as a fucking douchebag or the dude is harassing people online or whatever the fuck, you know, you think this guy's doing. At the very least, tell the motherfucker to fuck off and go about your way. Yep. You know what I mean, you don't, you don't have a reason in the world to go after somebody to get them riled up. Like, just tell them, yo, fuck off. I'm doing me. <laughs> like, I'm living life, dude. Like, let's say hypothetically for a, bit, for a moment, okay, that he was smashing Roxy, okay? Bro, you don't need to go, like, tell this guy, like, all that shit, man. You can just be like, yo, I'm getting views online. I'm getting netting. I'm getting fucking money. You know, I got my life rolling. I don't have a fucking thing wrong in the world. And this dude over here is just, you know, he's pissing me off. But I don't give a damn about that shit. Fuck that dude because I'm doing me, you know. So, you know, that's, but that's, you know, same thing with CPN. I think that, you know, CPN should have been like, you know, this dude is fucking vandalizing my car. You know, put as he put it, you know. I think vandalizing somebody's car, I mean, to the law could be, you know, anything, painting, putting stickers on, breaking a window, any of that stuff would be counted as vandalizing. But in my eyes, vandalizing means like, yo, you slash somebody's tires, you bashed out their fucking windows. Well, and there's misdemeanor vandalism and there's felony vandalism, and those are two big differences. So it it all depends, you know? Yeah. You know, so, um, you know, if this guy's vandalizing your car, you know, there's two things. There's two ways that you're gonna go about this. Okay, you're gonna handle it yourself, or the or the officer officials are gonna handle it for you. If you handle it yourself, you better p- be prepared for the officer officials to come and handle you. Exactly. Okay? That's like that's how that works. Okay, because the way that our system is built is they want you to call the police and they want you to call and and get somebody in trouble. You know, they want to put you against somebody else. That's the way the system is built, you know. And if and if you don't do that and you go and handle it yourself, then you're in the wrong for that. That's how the system's built, you know. Like, because you are a citizen of the United States, so you have to have protection from the United States if something happens to you. That's how the, That's how it works, you know. And he made the choice to go handle it himself, which... You know, a lot of us can see as, yo, that was fucked up. And a lot of us can see, oh, dude was just handling his business. Dude was out there fucking with him. He went and hit him in the head with a hammer. You got to do what you got to do. Okay. Well, allegedly, that's purely speculation because we don't have the video yet. But <laughs> Yeah, you're right about that. He, you know, but from the fact that CPN straight up said, I hit that dude with a hammer. I'm pretty sure he hit him <laughs> in the fucking head with a hammer, bro. You know, <laughs> like it came from his mouth. It came from Chuck Reed's mouth. I'm pretty sure he hit him in the head with a hammer. And he well, got arrested. I don't know. I kind of think that you know? CPN just like tossed the hammer to him and Chuck didn't catch it. And it just happened to hit him in the head. I mean, no, that's he straight up told the cops. <laughs> he straight up told the cops, yo, I hit him in the head with a hammer. <laughs> he said, I went boof. I hit him in the head with a hammer. That's what he said. I would have been like, I was trying to play catch. Yeah. <laughs> I would have just said shit to the cops. I would have been exactly. like, you, know, you don't say anything. Video, the you take me for what the fuck it is. You know? Yep. You don't ever talk to the cops. Hell no. no. Okay. Now, that was his first I'm... mistake right there, especially because right. it was proof that in his live stream he said, and I quote, I hit him in the head with the hammer. <laughs> but. You know, I mean, me personally, they they, I just them cops, they like, knew what they were doing when they picked them up, okay? But you can't come in. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude. The like, police, just, they knew what they was doing when they picked him up, okay? They knew that he was going to try to defend his side of the story, and they just let him talk. So when he talked, yeah. he dug himself a hole, and he said, yo, I hit him in the head with a hammer. And that's really all they needed to arrest him. And then they said, well, why did you do that? What was your reasoning behind it, you know? Did he have something in his hand? Because they're looking for – because. What they're looking for was to to hear him say, oh, he had a weapon in his hand, so that's why I had a weapon in my hand. But he never said that. But he did say that he had a weapon in his hand, and he left his legal resident area, the that uh, that parking lot. That's public because all, everybody that lives there uses that, pu- that parking lot, so that's not his area. He does park there. That's right. But everybody uses that parking lot, whether you're going to visit, whether you live right next door. They use that parking lot. And he went out in the parking lot and hit him. So 
he hit somebody in the head in a public area. Not right. Sad. You know, that's why they said, oh, we're going to have to arrest you. But they, at that point, they, they were like, yo, we're going off what we've seen on the video and what you're telling us right now. And what you're telling us right now is you walked off your porch and you hit him in the head with a hammer. So that's what we're arresting you for because you told us that. So, yeah, I wouldn't have told him shit. But I understand dude was just trying to justify what he was doing. But it's like, you know, he was mad, okay? He was angry. He was pissed. It's okay. We all get mad, you know, and we all do shit that, that's fucked up. So it's okay, man. You're good. Like, you're you're behind bars right now, and you're definitely thinking about this. But you know what? You're good, bro. Okay, we all we've all been there. Okay, do you tell me? You tell me that there's not a fucking time where, like, you've you've said or done some shit that's fucked up, and you know maybe the law had gotten involved with it, and you're just sitting there like, damn, like I probably shouldn't have done this. You know, like we've all been there at some point. Maybe not all of us in trouble with the law, but we've all been in trouble and been like, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't have done this. Like, yeah, 4th of July 2021 was that for me. So, <laughs> so it's like, I, I'm not on, I'm not on Team CTN, I'm not on Team Chuck Reed, or nothing like that. You know, I'm not on Team Roxy, I'm not on Team Blase, I'm, I'm on Team Grim. Okay, I'm on that motherfucking straight up juggalo love shit, okay? Because we're like this community has made a difference in each other. Okay, it's made a difference in my life and watching all this stuff go down and watching people be affected like this, it's just it's it's heartbreaking, man, because I don't want no, I don't want CPN to go to jail for hitting somebody in the hammer head in the hammer. I don't want Chuck Reeves to get hit in the head with a hammer. You know what I mean? I want what I want to see is everybody fucking get along and go their own way. You know what I mean, like, yep. CP and Roxy didn't work out. That really fucking sucks, bro, because I'm sure you have a lot of good memories with her. And I'm sure she's got a lot of good memories with you. Just as much as you guys have bad memories with each other. But unfortunately, <clears throat> it's it's turning sour and it's time to it's time to go your separate ways. It's you know, it's it's it really sucks in life when you have somebody that you care about and you're really trying to hold on to that, but it's just it's 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 not going well. And it's life is telling you, Mount, this is uh it's time to go find some new people. You know, it's time to, it's time to go and continue on with your life without, you know, set individuals, individuals, you know, everybody that's involved with this, Chuck Reeves, Roxy, even Blase, you know, like, like he has to make the decision to be like, you know what? I, I can't anymore. This is affecting my life to the point where I'm going to jail because I'm getting so pissed off that I'm getting violent with people. And I, I, I hit him in the head with a hammer to, because yeah, he, he maybe he did feel scared and maybe he didn't want to protect himself, but you know, it's. Well, dude's threatening to come to your house and do shit. He's like, I said, he's lucky. He only had a fucking hammer. <laughs> yeah. You're right about that. And I don't, I'm not saying that he wasn't wrong for going after him. You know what I mean? Cause I'll tell you what, if, if somebody came up to my house and had been priorly threatening me, you know, yeah. I probably would have done the same thing. But I would have had to been prepared for this shit and been like, you know what? I'm going to go to jail over this. So, and just have the understanding that, you know what? If this is how this is going to happen, this is how it's going to happen. And I'm just going to have to understand, like, this is just, I'm going to have to do this. Because it's like, are you going to be a bitch and fucking let this dude walk all over you? Or are you going to go to jail because you're trying to defend yourself? That's really the, the decisions that he was faced with. You know what I mean? Like, then it sucks that he was put in that situation, you know. But, you know, there's a million different ways how this could have went. And uh, this is the way that it went. And I just I hope think everyone's that, thankful for CPM for all the content they're going to get out of this. <laughs> I mean, at that point, it's like, you know, that's that's. That's the fuck part, though, man, is that I know but everybody looks at this life as entertainment when this is this guy's life. This is what this guy's life is doing. OK, now, I'm but not, he put his I'm life out there in public, man, though. OK, he put his but, life out there in public. Yeah, he did. He made that choice. Yeah. Then th this is the repercussions of that. 
But everybody's got that. Boy Blue's got that. Blase's got that. Jay's got that. Roxy's got that. That's what comes with the fame. It's not fame. It's if you decide to be a public figure, expect this shit to happen. Yeah. Just like me. Like, you see, when I come on this panel, you get, nobody sees my face. I never put the camera on because I don't, I ain't going to be dealing with this shit. I'm not stupid. You know, I'm <laughs> none of my, per, no one will know my personal information other than, you know, like the type of work I do or whatnot. And, yeah, you know what I mean? Good for you for doing that, okay? Good for you for doing that. I applaud you for that, okay? Because that's that's really smart, okay? You know, but the fact of the matter is, is that this should be a beacon for people to see that, yo, we have an issue in our community. And this is not just these two guys. There's, I'm sure, outside and non-recorded stuff is going on between two people who have two different views on the juggalo community right now and they're getting this pissed over it okay there's there's little shit like this happening in our community and we need to fix this man because this is not fam okay this shit happens at concerts this shit happens at fucking um festivals music festivals this shit happens dude i've seen shit like this happen in music stores man where where motherfuckers that were listening to ozzy or listening to this or listening to that would be beefing over fucking artists and then just bashing on each other and getting in fist fights over this shit and that's one thing, though. I've been to a bunch of psychopathic shows over the years, and every time I've been to a psychopathic show, it's all family love. Joints are getting passed around. Fucking, I mean, it's just all love. Yeah, and that's what it needs to be, man. And at the concerts, you know what I mean? Like, that's like that's what needs to be the center of our focus is just to be like, yo, I'm here for you. You're here for me. We're here for to fucking see the same artists that we both appreciate. Yeah, we should live. all be able to do that outside of the concerts, not just at the concerts, you know? Yeah, you know, but, you know, like, with this whole, uh, what was it, the Blue Rock Stadium coming up, the festival with ICP and Twisted playing at each other, it's like, they're playing with each other, not, like, at the same show, but this, at the same, like, festival. You, yeah. You guys know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about, yeah. Like, this is concerning for me, okay, because I don't want, like twisted and icp fans to have like a fucking war at this bitch man because that's gonna that's like everybody sadly knows. i think that's gonna happen if it was just straight twisted no if it was straight icp at the show no but the fact that they're both gonna be there at one point i sadly think that is gonna happen there's gonna be some drunk motherfucker that kicks it off you know yeah you're right and it's you know that's fucked man that's real fucked and and you know like, as as a community, as the people who are like, yo, this is fucked and we should be, like, not be acting like this. You guys have to have the understanding that people like that, they're going to be the downfall of the Juggalo community, okay? Like, can you guys imagine that, like, Juggalos don't exist no more? Just think about that for a minute, that juggle, that there's no Juggalos no more because this shit was fucked up because they tore each other apart. Just think about how that would end, Okay. Think about no more gatherings, no more ICP concerts, no more Twisted concerts, no more Juggalos. You get, I mean, there's probably people going to be repping the hatchet online, but there's not going to be no events that this shit's going to happen to. Like, just think about that for a minute. Well, yeah, but I, everything that has a beginning has an end. Like, it's, I mean, yeah, as soon as course. ICP dies, it's over. I mean, I mean, we got artists out there like Ouija Mac and whatnot that are going to, like, continue to carry the hatchet and whatnot. But, I mean, you know, you just got to keep in that mindset that, like, the Juggalo family will never die, okay? And what that means is, even though if ICP leaves the scene, okay, if they just have to sit back and just watch other artists grow and know that their career is like, yo, we've 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 released all the Joker cards that we need to release, and we've pushed all the albums that we need to push. We've done all the shows that we can to our physical health, can't do it no more. We've showed these motherfuckers love, you know? And they, they might continue to do the gatherings after that, just... Just to say fuck it, you know what I mean? Because they're still getting cash from people like who are pushing out music like like Ouija Mac, okay? Because you know they get a percentage of that shit, you know, because they signed on to them and whatnot, or he signed on to them, you know. And they're you know, and you know, just think about the fact that you know if 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 we all had that mind state of you know. Juggalos will never die then no we won't but as soon as we start bickering and fighting with each other and doing this type of shit man like 
it's, it's downhill for us, man. There, there won't be no juggalos left because we'll all be fucking hating each other, man. Because we'll all have our individual opinion and we're going to let that tear each other apart, man. We can't let that happen. Like, it's okay to have an opinion. It's just not okay to think that your opinion is more right than somebody else's. Exactly. They could say that ICP has fucking angel wings and a motherfucking pigtail and they're a motherfucking octopus. And you can sit there till you're blue in the face and tell them that they're wrong and they're still going to believe that they're right. And who the fuck cares? Okay. Who cares if like so-and-so was in the right or so-and-so was in a wrong. That shit don't affect you because you're just the motherfucker listening to the content and out here talking with the fellow juggalos about this shit because you guys are fam. You guys are the ones representing the love. And, and instead of like talking about each other's lives and sitting there being like, look, like help a homie out because I'm going through this or yo, I'm down to help you out because we all fam in this bitch. Instead, we'd rather talk about somebody else's lives because it's more entertaining. But it's human nature. Look at every great empire. Every empire is fucking died. So people understand United States is only like 300 years old. We're talking places that have been around for thousands of years all come crumbling down. It's human nature. But can't we learn from that? Well, yeah, but we don't look at society. I mean, it isn't. I mean, like I said, history repeats itself. It's, you know, eventually United States are going to go down. Albany. They all go down eventually. On another note, you you could add in that, you know, the conspiracy behind everything you're saying with the FBI labeling. FBI labeling us a gang. Twisted doesn't go to the march because of that labeling. ICP does. This creates a conflict. This conflict allows these group of people to tear themselves apart. The battle's won. We won the war. You know what I'm saying? That, like, and that's the opinion thing, too. Like, some people say they didn't go to the march because the gang label. Uh, there's a lot of people that say they didn't go to the march because they weren't being paid. So, I mean, you know, <laughs> nobody knows what them when it comes to that. Yeah, and f- for anybody out there that's curious on whether this FBI shit is real or not, okay, let me tell you something, okay? Well, it was real. I can guarantee yeah. that. Okay. Like, I've been through the system, okay? I'm not going to say why. I'm not going to say what the fuck went down, okay? But I've been through the system, and I got a hatchet man tattoo on me, okay? And the motherfuckers tried to STG me, which is a uh, security threat alert, <coughs> like se- security gang threat. Okay? Yeah, they classify you as a gang member. Yeah, and they tried to do that with my hatchet man tattoo, okay? Yep. That's my testimony, whether y'all choose to believe that or not, okay? But I don't, I don't give a fuck about no, whether y'all believe me or not, because I know this shit's real. Okay, and they're still doing this shit for anybody who thinks that like that the march ended the shit. It's still going on. Okay, because that shit happened after the march, and they're still doing that. I know a lot of juggalos in the system right now. Okay, there's a lot of juggalos in the system right now. Okay, that are that are being STG for ringmaster forks up, forks down tattoos. Great Malenko has five star stick star on it. The Hatchet Man is. Of FBI gang label, and you don't have to be in an FBI uh, jail or FBI prison to have this happen to you. This can happen in a state shit, okay? This can happen in a state joint or a state prison because it's they consider us a gang still, okay? It's yeah, just, and you can't you don't beat hear the, the FBI no more. You can't beat the FBI. They don't run out of time or money. Like I or said, people, I mean, they don't die right. off, man. They just hire new motherfuckers on. I mean, can you name anyone that's beaten the FBI in a lawsuit? You can't. You can't even sue the FBI. Like it's you're trying to fight something with the the thing that you're trying to fight. Like you're going through the court systems. The court systems support like the FBI, man. Like it's fucked. Well, they'll throw it out just like they did with the the gang label thing that I when ICP tried to sue them. Like they just threw it out. They said we're not dealing with this. Like because it's the we FBI. Are the pieces like, of the shit of society, man. We are the people that they're trying to throw out. Okay, that's why. Because nobody gives a damn about us but exactly. us. And if we're not going to give a damn about each other, then what the fuck is there left, okay? The only thing that I can say is that, you know, there's still something here right now, so let's make something of it, man. Let's, let's support the artists that are coming out right now. Even if you might not like them right now, peep their fucking music, man, okay? That's what I'm saying. Support independent music. That's what I'm yeah. all about. So, like, artists... That are coming out like that. I've never even heard of Hex. And I went and listened to his shit. Because he's got Juggalo love. Okay. You know. I like. 
I don't know if anybody caught the dead guys or Bartle Boston dead guy show that I was on. Did anybody catch that? Uh, no, I can't say that they did. Okay, so I, I was on there and I had announced that Trine was making a new album. Okay, because I'm I'm the cover artist for them. Okay, I, I'm doing the cover art for them right now, and they got a snippet of the, of the new song that was on there, and it was so much love in in the in the chat, bro, for them guys. And I'm like, dang, I I'm over here looking on the media, and it was getting trashed on, you know. And I was like, you know, this is this is good, man. This is good. These people are getting some, you know, some love, and that's good because this is what this is what we need as a family. Is like, it don't matter who the artist is. It could be motherfucking like. It could be two cops up there rapping, and as long as they're repping Juggalo Love, bro, then, like, and it brings people together, I'm cool with it, bro. Like, I don't give a damn. Because we all know at this point, this this ain't about ICP. This ain't about Twisted. This is about us, okay? This is about the community fucking being there for each other. Face is painted, you know, whether your face ain't painted or not, whether you got a hatchet man tat or not, whether you got a icp chain t-shirt fucking you know, like violent j panties on underwear fucking dildo i don't give a damn what kind of merch you got you might not have shit as long as you repping like fam and you're like bro i'm down with juggalos i'm down with this shit and i got love for these people and i support the juggalos okay that's all that fucking matters your opinion you can have it but i'm not gonna judge you on it you should not judge people on their opinion just as much as you shouldn't judge them on their race, on where they came from, on what their clothes look like, how much money they got in their pocket, because none of that shit makes them who they are. Their opinion does not make them who they are. I don't care what anybody says. Your opinion does not make you who you are. Your, who you are is based off of your actions. And if your actions says that you're a shit person, then of course... I don't think that uh, a single juggalo is going to be like, you know, supportive of somebody who's ignorant and like shitty because that's not love. They're going to show people that got love for them, like the rest of the community. You know what I mean? So I want to ask you guys this. Okay. Do you think that anybody in what you saw tonight was putting out for fam? Was doing this for the love. Anybody. Well, no, it was all, it's personal. Like I said, when personal shit gets put out in the public, now, like it was entertainment, now it's personal, and that's a whole nother subject, you know? Yeah. So, it's like, I don't think that I would want anybody involved in my personal life, just as much I don't think Blue wants anybody involved in his personal life. You know what I mean? Exactly, like, I think but that. If you're a public figure, you got to expect that, though. And it's up to you to how you go about it, you know? Yeah. Like I said with me, like, no one ever sees my face. You, you know, you know a little about what I do for a living and other than that. But I know how it works, and I'm not going to put my shit out there. So people can fucking, you know, call my place of employment or fucking get a hold of my family, put my address and shit out there. Like, nah, that's just... I like to think I'm smarter than that, but you never know, you know? Where in the fuck did Blue go? He's doing... I'm sure he's do, getting some recordings or something, I imagine. He's on the toilet taking his shit. I went to go bust a piss and came back, and there's only four of us here now. Oh, <laughs> well, guys, I'm sorry to tell y'all, but this is my show now. I did this earlier, you know? <clears throat> this is called the Door to Explorer show now. What's up? Mm -hmm. that's, that's cool. I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> I did this to him earlier when he um, was switching phones and stuff, and I was like, well, I stole your show. Just saying. <laughs> and all I know, Blue's going to be real famous. Like I said, this is a lot of content for him. And <laughs> what? Yeah. See, there's there's good with the bad, you know, but there's a, yeah. there's a bad apple in every bunch. I mean, shit happens. It's life. Like I said, it's up to you what you put out on the fucking internet. And if you put your personal shit out there, expect shit to go wrong. And, you know. Yeah, you're right about that. But like honestly, I, I say, you know, I've been, you know, I went through three divorces, but no one will ever know why or what happened or anything, you know, because I'm not going to put that out there and have yeah. the families of those women fucking harassed or fucking whatever, you know. 
Well, I think that we all should be supporting everybody involved with this and just be like, look, we're sorry that we're, you're going through this. We're sorry this is upsetting you this much. Everybody, Roxy, CPN, Chuck, anybody involved with this, I'd be, I, I feel like, you know, we should be like, you know, this, this really sucks that this went this way. But I also feel like those people should just not be putting that out there, like you said. You know, I don't feel like I feel like CPN is putting this out there for people to enjoy. And it just turned on him. And now everybody's like, well, I wouldn't say everybody, but a good majority of people are laughing at him. And a good majority of people are like, bro, free this dude. You know, so it's like he chose to make this public and he chose to make this entertainment by putting it online. You are right. You are right about that. You know, but I also feel like that us as viewers need to be like, you know what? This don't have shit to do with me. This don't have shit to do with what I represent as a juggalo. Fuck that. I'm not yeah. paying that. All I know is someone runs up in my house and fucking runs up to my house, pulls up. They better be, if they're willing to do that, then they're willing to take the consequences. Like I said, I'm not a gun guy. I'm a felon. But like I say, you come running up my house, I'm coming out fucking full leather face with a fucking chainsaw. And that was your choice to fucking come to my fucking personal property <laughs> and run your mouth or whatever the fuck you were planning to do, you know? I mean, right. hey. I don't know what, you don't know what's on anyone's mind. You don't know what the... You know, who knows what Chuck was fucking planning when he went there? Like, mm -hmm. that's not up for CPN. He's defending his own, his property, whatever. I mean, yeah, you're right about that. And like I said, Chuck should be happy. He just had a fucking hammer. If he had a gun or some shit, who knows what would have happened? I mean, yep. You know, not only that is that this all happened over. I'm I'm sorry. I'm gonna say it the way I say it because I'm I'm female and it's how I feel. Over a bitch. Sorry. It's true. It's over a female who, you know, doesn't deserve them fighting over. Like, but it always a history. Like I said, it's <laughs> all the great wars and everything. It's always it's always been over a female. <laughs> I know, but that's what I'm saying. Is like, pussy's a very no very powerful thing. And not only that is ah, the way that so I'm hearing it and, that. and seeing it. Damn it! Is, what? <laughs> No, he just well, he said wars and shit start over pussy sometimes. So I was just like, that's what's wrong with Putin, man. The fucking Ukrainian president was a fucking bitch, man. <laughs> it, it's true. Look it up, man. Do, you know, do it. Look up your history, and you'll see it's always over a fucking bitch. That's what Putin salty about with the Ukrainians, man. Look at Joe Joe Biden. Joe Biden gave us some good. Wasn't Joe Biden? <laughs> I think the I think the, the part that I part think is kind of I fucked on this kind of fucked whole, on this situation, whole situation, is situation is that you know, Roxy is trying to push Roxy her career and whatnot, and, and this shit's whatnot, kind of following her, and that's her, the part and that I think is like kind of shitty, like, shitty, you know. You know? I mean, CPN's I mean, got his shit CPN's going too, and I, through, I'm, and I, I'm a viewer I'm on that. Like I keep his content, you know, and I appreciate what he puts out. Oh, but. Yeah, I just think that's kind of yeah, fucking that's shitty, kind of man. Fucking like, if I was trying to put like something out, to put and something the ex of mine was like, like, I don't know, I don't know. That just seems kind of seems kind of like, like it sticks. Like it sticks. The fact that I bet, it was, that I bet it was all planned is a fucked up is part. A fucked up part. Yeah, I'm sure he I'm did sure that stuff to drag him out of the house and like you know and. Like to get him to do what he did. Yeah, he was trying to provoke him. Yeah, trying to provoke him. But because blue, blue, uh, blue, 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 blue. Can we fix the echo? Can we fix the echo? <laughs> yeah, there's no way blue yeah, passed no out drunk because all this content and shit. He's doing content, something. He's, he's working doing on something. something. He's working on something. I know he said he's gonna drop I know that. He said he's gonna track. drop that bitch track. Fucking echo. <laughs> it's already on SoundCloud, but. I mean, I know she already posted the whole thing on her Instagram, too. Blase did. So it was like, it was already up. Well, yeah, but it's content for Blue. So, I mean, more power yeah. to him. Like I said, you know, I yeah. don't knock anyone's hustle. So that's cool. Yeah, you do what you do, man. Like, I'm not going to knock it either. I'm just saying, like, like, CPN 
like was not the first person to to put that out. Like Blase was the, the first person to put that out. You know what I mean? Like she had already put it on her Instagram. Yeah, like, but nobody's actually, looking at Blase. Yeah, Everyone's looking, looking at Blue and CPN and everyone else. Yeah. Yeah. Is Blue passed out? Nah, he, there's no way he's nah, passed he, out. There's no way he's passed out. He's doing something, I imagine. He's doing something, I imagine. He did come back, so. He did come back, so. And then he switched then the screen, so I'm not sure what he's so I'm doing. Not sure what he's doing. I'm assuming since I'm he's got the porn blocker up, he's doing something right now. <laughs> Shit, I would if I was Shit, blue. I'd, I'd be jerking off, right off right now. Jerking off right now. Let's roll. Let's roll. Because he's probably away from the computer. Probably away from the computer. Well, I'm going to bust out of here, guys. It was good talking to you. Uh, I Me just too. Nice I talking to you. I gotta go, but I'll be back later. But I'll be back later. All right. Whoop whoop. Whoop whoop, fam. So, yeah, I just want to come on here, speak my piece real quick, and be like, look, we, there's a, a clear issue that we need to like work on as a community, and you know, I just feel like I didn't hear anybody else say it yet, so I figured I'd be the guy to say it. So, whether y'all choose to you know, follow me up with that. Uh, much loved, y'all. Much loved, y'all. y'all. Have a good night. You too. You Take too. care, man. Whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. Stone. Oh, shit, are you what there? I miss. Stone, are you there? I'm here. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. So, okay. so what you missed was. What you missed was. CPN went to jail. CPN went to jail. Oh, uh, I, ju- I I know about all that. Like, I just I actually just finished watching his stream. That's why it took me so long to get on here. Yeah, we were just talking yeah, about we were it, just basically. Talking about it, basically. Long and story how it's going to come in Virginia. Short, Virginia. Short, <laughs> and then the topic reared the off topic track reared for a second. For a second. Well, shit. I mean, I don't know what CPN expected, but that last part going after, going outside, put the hammer at him. Mm-hmm. I, I, mm-hmm. He should have. I feel like. I mean, he's a smart guy. I feel like he would have known better. But then again, I feel like he's a guy that's at the end of his rope, and he just really, honestly, doesn't give a fuck anymore. Probably doesn't. Probably doesn't. Anger and emotions are always going to be emotions. in trouble in either of these situations. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's not like just anger. Like, the like the man is broken right now. Like, it's plainly obvious to see. Like, the, he's going through what's probably the biggest emotional disturbance he's ever been through in his life. Exactly, especially because exactly. it's a especially divorce, and divorce, and that's hard when that's when, hard. when when you go through something you like that. Something especially like if you've had especially good times with this person, you know. Yeah, like he loved the shit out of Roxy. It was obvious. Like he loved her more than anything. It's gonna take time it's for him to get over it, but. Over it, but... When he does, he'll feel he does, better. He'll feel better. Oh, if only it was that easy. Like, I'm somewhat going through the same thing that he is, but like, what he's going through that I'm not is he's dealing with that uh, betrayal from a person that you gave your life to, gave your soul to, a person that you thought you were going to spend the rest of your life with. And to take that, throw it all back in his face. I mean, he just doesn't, he, he's at that point where he doesn't give a fuck anymore. He's got that emptiness inside him. Yeah. Yeah. Blue, where the Blue, fuck where are, the you? are you? Are you?
I dumb, think Blue's dumb, passed dumb, the fuck dumb, out. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Yeah, I'm getting ready to pass yeah, out, out, actually. Pass out actually. <laughs> Well, well, I'm going to hop out of here. Uh, 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 it's good to the Wicked Whoops, man. Right. Have a good night. Well, shit, what's everyone else up to? Uh, chilling. Chilling. Thinking if Thinking I want to stream today. I want to stream today. If you want a drink today, stream, stream. Like stream my video like game. Stream my video game. Oh shit! I don't know if I want to though. Because I, I, I was gonna do a mobile stream. Do a mobile stream. What's a mobile stream? I'm uh, doing it for my uh, mobile, phone, for my on mobile phone on Twitch. I'm playing mobile games. I'm playing mobile games. Instead of doing it like Instead on a console, it, like, or on a computer. console or a computer. Okay, I'm just fucking drinking whiskey. <laughs> Sounds like a, Sounds like a good old time. Yep. Fucking it's bullet ninety five ride tonight. Hmm. God damn, it sounds like someone's getting murdered outside my fucking front door. <laughs> it was storming earlier. I got noise canceling headphones on, music headphones in the background, on. and conversations going on. I can it sounds like T V static. Like Static. Are you falling asleep, asleep over there, buddy? Give it a couple minutes. We'll start hearing blue snoring. <laughs> no, I think his mic's muted. No, I think his mic's muted. Shit. <laughs> he did say he was ready, he to, pass he out, was ready so. to pass out so he probably already he has probably already has oh no he definitely has if I know blue like I think I do Malicious wounding is a felony in the state of Virginia. What's that? They said how serious is is, uh, malicious wounding Uh, charge? Yeah, that's just... Apparently a lot of people have looked that up tonight because as soon as I typed in malicious, the first thing Google autocomplete said was malicious wounding Virginia. Mm-hmm. It's a felony. Damn. It's a felony. Man, well, like I said, CPN's not a he's not a stupid guy. I, unless he was, I get I don't know if he's been in Virginia that long or how hip he is on the laws. But I want to see the I, video. I, I wanna like I want to, I want to see if there's a video of like it actually happening. Actually. Oh yeah, there's a video of him getting arrested. And, no, I saw uh, the video. I, like, I've seen the video of that, but I'm talking like that, talking if there was another perspective somewhere, perspective like that gets uploaded somewhere, in the near future of like, like, the, like the altercation. The altercation. Oh, I know that uh, Chuck Reeves is streaming earlier. I don't know how long before or after anything happened though. Yeah, I don't think anybody clipped yeah, it because I searched high and low. Searched high and low. If well, somebody's clipped it, they don't have it uploaded. They don't have it uploaded. If he did. Press charges, press um, charges, they would um, make they would him take it down. Take it down. 
So if Chuck deleted so if it, Chuck it's because it's already in evidence. It's already in evidence. Uh. Well, the cops knew that yeah, Chuck was streaming because in CPN's video, the cop says, like, you were, hey, you were both on live stream. Mm -hmm. Which means they probably Which already downloaded probably it from YouTube download and had him and go, had ahead and and go ahead and delete it. I just wonder what kind of hammer it was. Was it like a rubber mallet or was it like a ball peen hammer? Or <laughs> like, like, what brand was it? Was it Dewalt, was Cobalt? Cobalt? I don't know, but. I don't probably know, like. But, uh, uh, it's probably like one of those roofing hammers that the Trinity Killer used in the Dexter series. Maybe. maybe. Or maybe it was just like a cheapo maybe dollar store, like you know, Play Pals, Pals hammer. Hey, I wonder which side of the hammer he hit him with. <laughs> Did he hit him with the side or with the actual, <laughs> like, blunt edge of it? Well, from how it's all saying from is he swung, swung the hammer. the hammer. And then others say that he went ahead and hit him with the hammer. So if he swung the hammer, it depends on which side it landed. Well, apparently it didn't do a whole lot of damage when Chuck was uploading on Facebook saying, you know, from the ambulance, like making jokes. Oh, it was fucking hilarious. He was just, what? God damn it! You hit me with the hammer. You're going to jail, bro. It's like hey, if you runneth up, you accept the consequences accept handed, the down consequences handed down to thee. I mean, I don't begrudge CPN for what he did. I mean, you go to, you go to a man's house like that, you should expect nothing less. I mean, especially like if you're in a if you're in a red state like I am. I mean, you'll get shot for doing shit like that. Wait, is that really Wait, Chuck that himself? Really Chuck himself? What do you mean? The beard speaks. The beard speaks. Or the hashtag or beard, the speaks. Hashtag beard speaks. Chuck, why the fuck would you go to the man's house? Like I mean, you the were cat scan. Or cat scan. Or cap stand suit. Cap of cat scan. He said, but, but, by, yeah, but, but, by, but, by, unemployed, 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 no one. Unemployed, no one. I mean, I have an I mean, employment. Have thank an you. Employment, thank you. <laughs> He hit me with a hammer. <laughs> I mean, Chuck's face probably looks better for it, you know. I mean, why didn't you I mean, catch the hammer? Catch I'm, the just hammer. I'm just joking. Yeah, like my question, like yeah, I can't like, imagine like, that I CPN imagine moves that, that fast. That fast. <laughs> Like, if he was standing in front of me and he swung a hammer hard enough to hit me, he reared it back. Like, he charged it. So, like, there was a time to react. I don't know. I feel like CPN might be like that dude with, who's got like four arms in Mortal Kombat. He's like, just smack the shit out of you. Hmm. Or like, General Seems Grievous, like just like, like swinging him like two hammers <laughs> side to side, creates a wall of just momentum. Just momentum. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking too much into this, but that's just my fanfic mind coming into play. <laughs> I mean, now he's deemed a uh, hammer daddy. Hammer daddy. Just saying. Just saying. Well, I mean, shit. I mean, I mean, in a way, the guy kind of like he brought the war on himself. I mean, he was there trolling everybody. I mean, he was kind of asking for this type of stuff in the end, but. I don't know. I think he's just he just ended up in a situation where he can't Will you stop licking your fucking crotch dog? That's fucking disgusting. <laughs> what y'all don't know is he has a roommate, don't named, don't dog. A roommate named dog. <laughs> I just I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just feel like I just feel like if Chuck never been to his house, never went to his house, none of this would have happened. If he would have just stayed your ass home and moved along, none of this would have happened. Well, look, you don't, in any circumstance, you don't need to be going to a man's house if you're, unless you're looking for something like that to happen. Exactly. Yeah, my my real question, like if I was if I was in a conversation with Chuck Ridge right now, my my real question was, what would what was your expectations of showing up there? 
Like, what did you expect to happen? Apparently, he just wanted to talk nicely to him was one of his comments. Like, what was he doing? Showing up, like, with a turkey, having some Thanksgiving dinner like they did when they showed up on the Mayflower? Like, come on. <laughs> you, you you got beef with this dude you and you show up at his house at his or his house, apartment, whatever. His apartment. Like even if you didn't go into his apartment or knock on his door, you showed up in the parking lot of his apartment complex. You did not have any positive intentions. Exactly. Exactly. So like you show up at my apartment complex and I got beef with you. I immediately have an expectation that you do not have positive intentions. There's an expectation of violence. Which is why I said he should have stayed his ass home. Maybe he went from guy in the head with a hammer. With hammer. True. True. I'm just wondering how he had the audacity to be able to slap Sid Jones, but even with a hammer in his hand, he couldn't do anything to CPM. But I don't know. Maybe CPM like pointed the hammer at him, like got like an inch away, and then like one inch punch manned him with the hammer. Well, oh, Hemi, I'll be phys- I'll be uh I'll be honest with you. I would not want to get into any type of physical altercation with CPN. I mean, the guy can obviously handle handle himself. I mean, yeah, he he's he's got a one and zero record. He's got a one and zero record. At least he wanted to get hit. Yeah, I feel like yeah, that was his attention like all along. Because from, from, from what everybody's saying, he did have a video out there stating that, that CPN would be in jail by Monday. Jail by and look what's going on already. Your echo is like really, really bad. bad. Oh, I, I didn't mean to make the guy leave. <laughs> No, no, Stone, come back. Stonehenge, come back. You can blame it all on me. I do blame it all on you. <laughs> Dad, I didn't mean to hurt the guy's feelings. Don't hit me with a hammer. <laughs> don't CPN me. I don't need a hammer to CPN your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I just I realized like five minutes after y'all like put me in the broadcast thing on here that I was in it because <laughs> I was in another tab looking at something else listening and then I heard my voice in the echo and was like wait oh you back are you are you back I'm sorry you can blame me I didn't mean to make you leave and hurt your feelings don't CPN me uh, uh, how's the echo doing now oh better oh yeah no hundred no, percent. Problem solved, right. problem staying solved. CPN lead the way. <laughs> Boy Blue, you must have oh, added me into that. the you must have added me into the uh the show. What are you doing, Blue? Why are you not talking to people? That's because this fucker is falling asleep on us, so that's why. I mean some have had to put me back into the uh panel though. Yeah, he did. He's Blue, still there. You suck. He's somewhat you're being, there. You're being a homo, Blue. It's okay. He he's good with it. I'm just gonna take over the show for a bit, you know, <laughs> and m- make it all about me and get him some more followers and and you know, some some money, man. Who wouldn't want to talk the to Dora Explorer? Explorer? Part the door of the Explorer podcast. Exactly. Yo, let's, exactly. Let's run up on boots. Yo, I don't got boots anymore. He he did. A boot is a little cunt. Fuck you. Hey, Blue. If you jump on the stream and finally say something, I will show my face without my mask. Nothing. Ooh, this should be a rare opportunity. Oh no! Nope. All right, do it, then. do it, fucker! Do it, fucker! You have no choice now, Stone. Wait, where are you? Is the blue come up? Yeah, I'm right here. Oh shit, blue's here. All right, what the fuck is good, y'all. Oh, the one and only, the sexy 
Still oh, man. shit. Oh, shit. The one and only. All right, I'm going dark again. <laughs> what up, what else have you been doing, honest. though, Blue? Why why are you sitting this out? I'm drunk, man. I'm trying to go to bed. <laughs> It's been a long night for Blue. This is like golden content that you could only pray for. Really, though? You should I milk mean, it a little longer, don't make, bro. If you don't make money off this, you're never going to make money off Juggalo Drama, homie. You couldn't right, ask for anything better. Mm. You should have all them videos recorded and ready to take clips out. And well, I still got to tomorrow. Leave. I still got to leak the Violent J um, diss track by uh, Blase Rose. Well, you wouldn't really be leaking it because that shit's been out for a hot minute. But, yeah, you'll get some views, I would assume. Uh, well, I'm going to leak it on the sister channel, um, Drug Loot Drama yeah, yeah. Online. You don't want no let strikes on your main channel. Like, let me ask everybody, genuinely, what, do you, what did you guys think of the song when you heard it? Never heard it. I, I was gonna I listen I was, to I'm a little so bit. You said that, Dory, because like I was about to be like, uh, "Who's gonna get mad that I haven't heard it?" Too much was going on to really peep it yet. I feel I only listened to like a couple seconds. I feel like the technique wasn't bad. Like the technique was fine. Like I mean, they're they're pretty good, but. I don't know. I just feel like the, uh, the the subject matter was a little cringy for me, and it made me feel like I was back in high school or some shit. If somebody wants to DM me that on uh, Discord, like, let me know. It's SoundCloud slash CPN. Oh, man. Uh, you think I'm typing slashes and, and stuff like that in at midnight? Well, just go to SoundCloud and type CPN. You'll find his page, and then it's not hard. But it's it's nice to be here. Say what up in person to y'all. Somewhat, you know, Stonehead Blue. I followed you guys for a long time, many years. Woo-woo. Figured I wanted to come up with this piece and lay down my two cents like DC Fago guy. Throw my two cents in the pot. In my opinion, this was all premeditated on Chuck's side for intimidation. And he got exactly what Roxy wanted. It was all set up from the beginning. You wouldn't drive that far. You know, just to do some live streaming and talk shit. He wanted to provoke Raya or CPN into hitting him. And he pulled out a hammer. I mean, holy shit, you know. I'm sure he milked it up in the ambulance and everything. But he, later on, he's walking around right back on the property. And he was fine. You couldn't see a bone. You couldn't even see a red mark. There was no blood. Like, I don't know if it flew out of CPN's hand when he went to swing it and it ricocheted off his head. Or something, but he doesn't look like somebody got hit by a hammer at all, in my opinion. I mean, well, Chuck was right about one thing. Uh, CPN did end up in jail for Monday. Yeah, did he predict, Did he say that before he even went over to the house? He, he was saying that for a little while, apparently. Yep, apparently yeah, there was yep. a video going around where he was saying that he would put CPN in jail by Monday, so... Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. It's all premeditated. That's exactly what he wanted to happen. Better than what he wanted because he used a hammer. <laughs> CPN, they, he, or not, uh, Chuck, you know, he's been around some of the bigger industry guys. They know the law well and how to, you know, handle things. He knew what he was doing. Yeah, I still can't find this diss track on SoundCloud. I'm looking. Um. If it might actually be under Clout God. I think his name is on there. The link to it is in CPN's video where the disc track label. In the yeah, CPN, CPN's most recent video. It's in in the link of that. Yeah, because I read description. <sighs> okay, but uh, what I'm curious. I'm curious, do you think Chuck is driving back home right now, or is he driving back to Roxy's house to celebrate? He's probably oh, right now he's in a CAT scan room. room no, he was in the hospital for an, a minute. He was in and out, like he said, six hours later, but it was sooner than that, I believe. But <clears throat> honestly, though, with that state and the charges, there, there's no bond for that charge. 
So what? CPM. Yeah, there's no bond on that charge. Damn, he's going to be in there for like 30 days. A minute. He's going to be in there till a minute. Yeah, he's going to see a magistrate probably in a day or two. And yeah, he's he's probably going to lose all his jobs. And that's really what's going to fuck him, being locked up oh, right now for a couple sure. of weeks. He's going to yeah. lose everything, honestly. I mean, <sighs> hopefully he's got enough cash saved up to pay for the rest of the expensive. Because it's going to cost him everything. This is all public. They're going to make an example of him, I feel. I mean, it'd be nice to see it all get dropped down to a, you know, like a misdemeanor, you know, yeah, it, it was, it was premeditated. Chuck intimidated the whole thing. <laughs> like, but I mean, money talks, so we'll see how deep, you know, CPM's pockets are. Um, uh, F-bomb, I actually put the link in the private chat on here. Thank you. Saved me a lot of work. You're very welcome. Man, as much as I'm like, I, I'm not like backing Chuck or anything, but I mean, I'm not backing anybody myself. He, I mean, CPN kind of, I mean, he should have expected this type of stuff to eventually happen. Like, this is why I don't get into internet confrontations with people like that. That's right. Why I pretty much he knew it was quit. coming. That's why I quit networking altogether, pretty much. Like, I just, I don't need this extra shit in my life. I don't need. <clears throat> people trying to attack me or my family because I mean the, the next thing that happens after this is someone's going to end up probably getting killed and that's probably going to be the next step to this so I mean people well I hope CPN is all right tonight you know what I feel if sorry for if somebody's now. yeah 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 I, I do too. We all need to pray for him because if he's suicidal, you know, what do you say? He was choking himself the other night. Somebody said, yeah, he tried choking himself out, but he woke That's up. That's more of like a self, like a self harm type thing, you know, to deal with emotional pain. I don't think he's really trying to, you know, off himself. It was more just like a cutter per se, you know, did you guys see his streams from the other night? <laughs> yes. Yeah. But I was watching those live, and I was like, like, like I said, I'm going through shit myself, and like I heard him like going through all that shit, and like it was like, it kind of helped me in a way, knowing that I'm not the only one going through shit like that. But like, I feel you. He, he, like I can. He, he seems like he's just at the end of his rope, and it's just. I was going through that shit ten uh, years ago, man. Oh. I, was, you know, yeah. I was feeling suicidal and shit from my baby's mama leaving me. Yeah, when you you know you love somebody, it, it does fucked up shit. Like a uh, homegirl was saying, man, you stick your dick in crazy pussy, it has crazy effect. Yep. Yep, and especially just because you done with her doesn't mean that she ain't gonna try to do something even crazier to get your attention. Like. It's right. just attention seeking, and that's all she's really doing. She's searching for someone who's going to give her the most attention she wants. And if it's not oh, satisfied she... with one, she'll try to go for another. And that's what's happening exactly. at this point. No, if you're anybody... thinking crazy, make sure you're okay with the consequences that come after it. That's all I'm saying. At the end of the day, you know what you did, you know what you're putting yourself in. Point blank and simple. Right. Now let me ask you this: Did uh, Chuck Reeves know Roxy before any of this drama popped off? Were they friends before the separation? Um, yes, like they, they kind of did in a way, other? at least a little mm -hmm. bit that I know of. A little acquaintances, but they never really met in person and hung out before oh, the yeah, separation. Well, CPN said that Roxy Red had told him before that when she's going through beef with a, a past boyfriend, she'll fuck someone that she uh, that they're them with, you know, to get back at them. So <clears throat> apparently, hey, boy, blue. Up. What's that? Do you remember when uh, CPN was? Uh, you've watched CPN for a few years. Do you remember back a few years ago he was doing that competition? 
that he was calling that turn that hoe into a housewife competition. <laughs> and I guess it was supposed to be a, he was asking people to draw pictures of uh, Roxy Red doing housewife stuff or something. And he was giving extra points if Chuck Reeves was the wife. So I feel like back then he was kind of sowing the seeds already for what was eventually going to happen. So, I mean, I feel bad for the guy, but I feel like in a way he's kind of brought a lot of this on himself. Yeah. Oh, definitely. That's what my old lady was. Yeah, he's putting this shit all on Front Street, airing out his dirty laundry. You know, it's like, ah, oh, man, I really feel bad for the guy, though. I mean, he's scorned, you know. Um, he, he's feeling some type of way. Yeah, it's true. He felt a woman scorn, bro. That's the problem. I hit a button, my bad. You're New good. with this. But, uh, yeah, we bring it all on ourselves, man. You may not even realize it at the time, but we, we do it to ourselves. We set ourselves up for failure. You don't get involved in that fuck shit. You're not going to step in it. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. I hope that he has an okay night tonight in jail. Yeah, we all have to pray for him. He doesn't, you know, I think he may need to go in the boom boom suit because, you know, once uh, some of that adrenaline wears off, he's going to switch from anger to hardcore depression. And if you've been there, you know it. You know what that's like. Yeah. Um, you just listen to the track. Oh, F bomb. Oh, F bomb still on. Yeah. I'm just hoping that he he don't do something stupid in jail and gets into a fight in there too. Well, he tried. Oh, yeah, you know. He tried killing himself the other night. Well, that's what right. I'm saying. Like, in his state of mind right now, after all this. Like, there could be a point where someone's going to talk to him the wrong way. He can get in a fight in jail. That's more charges added on to him. Yep. Yeah, it's really hard once you get in there, man. Shit happens quick. And you can rack up more charges and extend your time before you know it. And it cannot even be your fault. You may have just been sitting there in the day room watching TV and somebody come up on you that you've never seen or don't even know. Like Homeboy was saying earlier, man, once you win that system, it's really, really hard to get out. You know, even after he gets out, probation or parole, whatever happens, is that's going to be another struggle for him in his life. New chapter. Yep. You know, hopefully we can write him or something, send him some commissary money. He won't be getting super chats no more, but you're going to need some of them ramen noodle boys for sure. Hmm. I don't know hey, if he's got and, family. And if, he gets, and if he gets YouTube privileges or internet privileges, he can look up some good ass recipes, bro. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm being be serious. A, well, On I used YouTube, to be a little bit I've of a learned, jailhouse chef. I, I've learned most of the jailhouse foods on YouTube. <laughs> you I know how to, to make candy the and streamer. Ingredients. <laughs> yep. Go to 7-Eleven, get you some ingredients for a cook-up. Don't forget that spicy pickle, boy. You're going to need that squeeze no. cheese. <laughs> There's no way to know if he's going to be going to jail like like uh, that yet. Like, I mean, this oh, still no, gotta he's going like, to be. There's still got to be a no. hearing and everything about it. He's going to no. be in a holding cell with a bunch of other people for a couple days at least before they even put him in gin pop in the county jail. Hopefully, if he if he goes to prison, they don't put him on a construction crew and make him hammer nails. Well, it's a violent crime. It's a violent crime, so he won't get any kind of day pass work privileges off site. I don't know nothing about all that. Well, and plus he's a juggalo, so they might charge him even harder because yep, he's a they, member. Yeah, they STG me. I did four years, and they seen my test day one, and I was STG to me automatically the big problem with me is they kept moving me around to different facilities because 
four or five of those juggalos would hang out on the yard. Next thing you know, everybody got transferred. It's happened a couple times to me. As soon as you get settled in, meet some homies, pack your shit. <laughs> you moving again. Mm. He ain't going to see a judge till probably morning, to be honest. He'll see a magistrate maybe in the morning, Monday. But uh, since it's been the weekend, it might not even be till Tuesday or Wednesday. And that's just the magistrate. So, yeah, because they'll mean, have to catch up with all the people who got arrested over the weekend. Mm-hmm. Like that. Yeah. yeah, He's probably sitting in a pretty full cell right now. There's probably not enough rolls of toilet paper for pillows to go around. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, he could probably, like, I hope he keeps this cool in there. Right, for sure. I just think how crazy it was how quick Roxy was able to manipulate Chuck to go to his homeboy's house. That's like, how many states away is that? The pussy is a strong power to hold. <laughs> In the words of one of my favorite YouTube channels, Cinema Sins, the power of boners is strong. When I'm sure you know wanted, someone's like, having... Here's the thing, though. He, he knew that all this was happening. He wanted to slide his dick in crazy, too. But here's the problem. She probably said, no, no pussy until you do something for me. And that's how yep. everything started. You want to understand what I'm saying? The pussy you painted the same picture I was thinking. Yep, I want, yeah, he might be going back to celebrate to finally get his peace right now since he did what he did. That's what I'm waiting this- to see. Did anybody think that CPN and Roxy Red being together as a couple was going to go good? Um, yeah, I th- you know, I was kind of happy for him at first, honestly. I, I, thought, was, you very know, happy. I was very happy for I CPN d- when I saw the marriage video, you know? And that's kind of what. Oh, no, I don't mean like were you happy for him? I mean, did you think that the uh, relationship was going to work out? I mean, when I, I first heard it. about it, I I refrained from ever talking about it because that's a married couple, and you don't right. I don't believe that's in getting into people's business like that. But I mean, from day one, I I was thinking that's two like they're both very strong personalities, and I I feel like they would end up clashing sooner or later. I knew that Roxy was very far on like a political spectrum from what CPN was. And I knew that that was going to end up causing some clashing, but I I, I did, I was happy for him. I wanted it to work out for him. I just didn't know how long it was going to end up lasting. Well, in my eyes, you know, I'm, I'm not out there in the public like I used to be back in my heyday, but since they're so out there with their life and everything in my head, they were kind of like juggalo king and queen prime queen type thing. And he went to that yeah, show. No, that's the only reason I'm about it. Right. That's the only reason I'm commenting on it now is because they made it like a very public thing, mm-hmm. which I think was a mistake, but I, I didn't say anything about it at the time when they were a couple, because I just find that to be disrespectful. And I mean, everyone was jumping on that bandwagon of, Oh, Roxy and CPN will only last a month, type of shit. Uh, it's not assault with a deadly weapon. Um, it is malicious wounding. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is what he was charged with. He was not charged with assault with a deadly weapon. He was not charged with assault. He was charged with malicious wounding, and that's yep. a felony in the state of Virginia. Are you looking to see if there's bond or not for that? I'm pretty sure there's no bond for that, but I could be wrong. I mean, the the way I see it, the, the man defended himself. The guy came to his no, home and he defended not himself. Not really. He was on public property in the parking lot. He stepped out of his house and approached yeah. Chuck. So. It says here, I mean, I know the, the legal issue. He arrested of it. and detained yeah. without bond. Yeah. I do. I know the and, legalistics of it. I know he shouldn't have stepped out of the house with a hammer, like pretty, basically going after Chuck, stepping out of his house with a hammer. But he the was guy defending his dignity his house to antagonize him. I mean, yeah, that you don't go to a man's home and do that type of shit. Right, but I mean, you really there. Chuck didn't swing on him or anything. There was no. 
defense in it. Really, he ran at him, I guess. But it was in the front parking lot. I mean, maybe if he tried to come in his house, that would be defending yourself. But I know the law says different. I'm just right, saying my, right, for myself yeah. personally that right. I think that he – I know was, you're saying, homie. He was, yeah, he was. He was. Yeah, his dignity and his pride and everything. Because you know, like I said earlier, you know, you either defend yourself, do nothing. Oh, it's not about police. dignity or pride. If someone comes oh, to your a home, lot about like that. they're at your home. Like if 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 someone's at you your home, that's the different. Police. It's not about like dignity or pride or anything like that. I don't know. Maybe he used the hammer like a shuriken. I'm thinking it must have like kind of flew out of his hand, like he lost the grip of it, and it spun like twice in the air and ricocheted off his head because there's not really even a mark on Chuck. Well, the only vision I have in my head is CPN running across the parking lot with a hammer in hand and the right. Home Depot theme music is playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> and, right. and that's, that's all I got. For it, that. it must have been like one of them like smaller picture framing nail hammers from like the dollar store. You know, they're like maybe like seven inches long they're like real light i don't know so yeah he, he wasn't trying to hit cpn very hard with it he he said he didn't want to like kill him or anything so he probably wasn't holding it very firmly because if you hold a hammer nice and firm and knock someone mm -hmm. in the head with it it's probably going to knock him the hell out so well, i mean maybe he probably wasn't trying holding to hurt the guy loosely. he was just trying to give him a slight attitude adjustment <laughs> yeah it was like just like oh. a little tap like a punk you know yeah. like i think he did that in the video actually like, like, you know, maybe like a Happy Gilmore trying to putt, like, level of tap. It's kind of like when you take your, your fist and knock somebody on the forehead, you know, like, hello, like a little mm -mm tap, you know. It don't matter, though, in the long run, though, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. Now I just have the Home Depot theme music stuck in my head. Still. So you might as well listen to that disc track. Get it out of your head. Um. Uh. Do we want to talk about that? Because I have an opinion, and I don't know how other people feel about it before I say what I think. I I, I haven't heard it myself, but I'm down to listen. Um. I I, I listen to it, and um. Uh. It, it, that ain't it. <laughs> well, I heard the Trine album, and I, that's not it either. So I can just assume it's more of the same. Like, like, oh, I, I've I've heard better on a twelve you know, year Steve, old Xbox right. 360 in a Call of Duty lobby. Like, let's be real. <laughs> a CPN was so hung up on you don't diss the Duke. Like, that's just gonna kill your career and everything. And he was so hung up on that. And I think in the long run, not many people are really even gonna give a shit. Like, <laughs> what career is there to really ruin? <laughs> Uh, well, to be honest, Jay's kind of fucking shit up for himself enough these days. Yeah. I, I hope he doesn't have the herb. But, anyways, um, Blue, thank you for letting me come on here and drop my two cents in the bucket. And, uh, Stonehenge, too. I don't. I don't know you other guys, but nice to meet you. Nice. I don't, I don't know anybody out. here. I'll just be. I'm out for the night. You. I'm going back to the shadows <laughs> where I belong. See you in the comments. <laughs> Good night. Right, take care, man. Me. Much love. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah Ben. Pray for CPN. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, pray for CPN. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm really worried he's going to get um, classified as a violent gang member now. I doubt it. I doubt he will. Here's the thing with the malicious wounding charge. Um, they would have to figure out if he did it out of malice. So if he intended to do permanent bodily, bodily harm. Um, also, they have to see how bad it was of a bodily injury. If it caused bodily injury, then yes, he can get charged for it. Um, if they find that he meant to do what he did, yes, he'll get charged for it. Huh. Now, if Chuck's fine and he only had a concussion and nothing was, 
you know, cut, ripped, gushing blood, nothing was cracked, you know what I'm saying? Then there wasn't any bottle technically bodily injury done to him except for a concussion, literally. Um so I'm sure, he, <laughs> I'm sure he got a nod on his head. He probably did, but that's not enough to call to be uh made as bodily injury like that's just a bump on your head chuck is trying to claim that cpn tried to murder him tonight (laughs) (laughs) yeah chuck is a little type of girl that would try to do that he could have tried to murder you bro he didn't even really like put full force on it though he just let the hammer bounce off his head and he dropped it and then chuck picked it up you know that's the Bro, thing about Chuck. He's funny. always been overly dramatic. Well, yeah. Like I'm just reading. I'm reading what this guy's writing. I'm. I was the victim of a crime. If you don't like what happened, I don't care. He tried to kill me tonight. No lie. Dude, I hope you're listening. If he tried to kill you, you would know it. I promise you. He wouldn't have used that hammer. I'm sorry. I'm going to be fucking honest. Like, dude, you don't know what someone trying to kill you looks like. Trust me. Be lucky that all you had was a hit in the head with a hammer from probably 10, 20 feet away. Like, just, just be fucking happy that you got off on that. All right. That's it. If you're being well, a big Chuck baby Reed did it, serve right? in the military, although I highly doubt he saw any action unless it was from his uh, bunk mates in the barracks. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. I'm so dead. Look, man, Chuck sounds like a little man baby and needs to grow the fuck up. I don't know. He does look like the type to get robbed at fist point by a strong gust of wind. <laughs> I mean, seriously, why did CPN have to use the hammer, though, man? The dude's a midget. Hurry I would have just picked him up by his fucking shirt. You know, slap the beard off his face. I mean, he he did he probably meant what he said when he said that he's been harassed and been made threats against. So you never know. Like you see someone charging at you, your mind is racing a mile a fucking minute. Uh, I don't believe for a second that CPN swung on him with the hammer because he thought that his life was in danger from Chuck Reeves. He did it because he wanted to, he was saying all that type of stuff just because Chuck Reeves has threatened his life and he has threatened violence against him several times and he was pretty much just saying that as like he could use that in a legal sense Mm -hmm. but I I don't for a second believe that CPN was in fear for his life when Chuck Reeves showed up at his house right well he probably wasn't it's a midget but I mean, he's you probably know, in fear of like whatever at, chicken wings he had in his fridge. At, at the end of the day, that that's a story that might stick, and that's a story that's going to always be because if he wants to get out of this really well, it it better be because he was fearing for his fucking life that he threw that fucking hammer straight up. If he says he did it out of anger, then they will charge him with malicious wounding. Point blank, it's simple. Yeah, but like, I mean, if to threaten somebody's life, like you, like, 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 he would have had to thrown like Mjolnir at him, like Thor's hammer. Yeah, <laughs> like I still don't believe that CPN moved fast enough with a hammer in hand to make contact unobstructed against Chuck's head. Like, I, I don't see that physical capability in, like, ha- happening. Well, I think it's just going back to what I said earlier. 
I think it's a guy that's at the end of his rope and he just doesn't care anymore. Like he had to have known you go out of your house with a hammer. You're, I mean, he's going to get in some type of legal trouble for that. I mean, he's a smart guy. He had to have known that, but I feel like he just doesn't, he doesn't care anymore. He just, he feels like he's got nothing left to lose. So if right. he gets arrested, fuck it. He doesn't care. And he probably feels that way. But in all honesty, what he has, what he has to lose is his job, his three jobs, not just one, three. Three jobs. Yeah, but you gotta yeah, understand, like his life, bond and he has to sit in jail. Till his court. life was Roxy Red, and he doesn't have that life anymore. And he doesn't see any point basically of going on. I mean, the man tried to kill himself apparently the other night. He doesn't see any point of going on with that life, having a job or not, no matter how much money he's making. He doesn't care about going on with that without what he thought was the woman that loved him that was supposed to be his lifetime partner. Which is understandable, which is why the way you're bringing it up is going to be how the courts are going to bring it up. Does that make sense? Well, like a temporary moment of insanity or something like that. Like he saw Chuck, like the whole situation just like made him black out or something. If he has a good lawyer, probably. No, I think he knows what he was doing. He just doesn't give a fuck anymore. Which is understandable. But what I'm trying to tell you is if he gets a good lawyer, because it's going to come up that Chuck, you know, bedded his wife and all this other stuff, and they're going through a nasty divorce, and, you know, the people against him are going to argue he did this out of malicious intent. He meant to harm Chuck. You know what I'm saying? But if he gets a good lawyer, the lawyer can argue he it was a moment of insanity. He blacked out. He didn't know what he was doing. They can argue that, too, because no one... In all honesty, no one really knows what happened except for Chuck's video because Chuck was the one that was uh, assumably still, you know, recording the whole interaction. You know what I'm saying? I haven't seen Chuck's video on it yet. Yeah, I, I, I look, I've been the whole time I've been here, I've had like other tabs open searching, just waiting for the moment that it surfaces, if it ever will, to see like if somebody had got a screen cap of it. <laughs> What up, Jay? That's how I see that. Juggalo man, Juggalo assaults man with a hammer. That's the stereotype. No, the stereotype would be Juggalo assaults man with a hatchet. (laughs) That is the stereotype. Right. So, damn, I missed all the good shit today, huh? (laughs) Apparently so, brother. Chug getting fucking hammer time by CPN. God damn. Motherfucker. I miss all the man, fun. Man just had to flex his pimp hand a little bit, you know? A little bit of <laughs> attitude adjustment. It goes a long way. Hey, guy deserved it, man. You show up at my man's house. <laughs> I still, like, my brain just just like, won't allow me to process how, like, I have to see the video of how this happened. You know, I got to be honest, Chuck took it like more of a man than I thought he would have. Like, I thought he would have, like, after getting clocked in the head with a hammer, I figured he would have gotten his car right away and ran away crying. But I guess I, I should have given him a little more credit than that. Oh, yeah, give Chuck some big credit, man, showing up over there. At least he had the balls to actually show yeah, up. Yeah, you, know, you know, showing up, then going in an ambulance and calling the cops and snitching and defending yourself snitching on the internet. Like, give the guy bad props for that. So is there a video <laughs> that's going down or what? Uh, supposedly Chuck's got the, like, uh, it, it was on his, on his Instagram live, but it's not surfaced since the stream has ended. Yeah. I would have loved to see this shit, man. <laughs> Fucking crazy. I just need to watch it to see how CPN was physically capable to swing a hammer or shriuken the hammer and, or, maneuver this hammer fast enough to hit Chuck with it without Chuck either reacting or being able to move out of the way or deflecting. There's my brain will not comprehend. Yeah. He wanted to get hit. Like the only option I see is Chuck just leaned his head down and was like, right here, please. (laughs) Every state's law is different. Like here in Michigan, man, you know, when I got my assault with a deadly weapon, shit, I only got six months of time. 
six fucking months. Yeah, you can go but over months with a weapon here in Michigan and only get six months county time. Yeah, but he was um, charged with malicious wounding, and that's a class three felony in that'll, the state of Virginia. That'll probably get reduced before court, I'd say. Yeah, I don't know Virginia law. But I want to fuck around in Virginia. No, because it's a Commonwealth state, and automatically, yeah. he's a juggalo. They're going to assume that he's part of a gang. Oh, definitely. And Alabama, man. Alabama's the same fucking way. You can't do shit in Alabama. You can't even have a fucking seed in your car in Alabama, I don't believe, right now. We had a homegirl that did a um, haunted tour, and on her tour, after the tour, she was leaving her hotel, got pulled over, had a bong in her trunk, and they gave her fucking possession charge, man. Mm-hmm. So CPN didn't, is he in jail or is he? Yeah, he's sitting. Yeah, yeah he's sitting in, in a cell. Yeah, he's sitting in a cell right now. <laughs> no, he's not. If it, if, come if, out till... He probably won't get bond, according to what I read about the charge. Like that's an immediate, you it know, all jail, no too, bond. Man. If anybody able to go down there and pay his bond, or if he had the money on him himself, or if they're going to make his ass sit there until he goes to court. Well, according to this, it says you know. You you're detained without bond. Oh shit! Yeah, he's he might be fucked. Yeah, he might be fucked. No, it depends because so if he goes against the magistrate and you know he doesn't seem like someone who would you know do anything stupid, then they might actually. Give him bail, but like I said, it depends if he can yes. keep his cool inside jail. Oh yeah, they're gonna look at everything too, man. They're gonna look at all the videos from the day. They're gonna look and see if, uh, I mean, if you watch that video, Chuck was provoking him. Then he showed up at his house, provoking him into something. So you just don't know how a court's going to actually proceed. But CPN, you might be fucked, man. You know, you never know. A jury are, might are they going to submit this, this leaked member? diss track as evidence? Because, God, I hope not. And how's Chuck? Anybody heard anything else from Chuck? Is he all right? Concussion? Stitches? Apparently, he was going for a CAT scan. And um, that's just that, that, that he's got no brain. <laughs> According no to his shot. Facebook, he was the victim of a crime. He was the victim of attempted murder. He's well, he's not charged with attempted murder, not yet. You never know. They, you remember these? You know, the law could always change on him real quick. I know. I'm just, I'm just telling you what Chuck change. is saying on Facebook. Like, Especially he's, if he has he's, kind he's of totally playing into this, like that, you know. Like, oh, yeah, I called the cops. You would do it, too. You know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, snitch. Blah, 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 blah. Like, yeah. yeah, it's shocking. I knew something was up because uh, when the fuck does Blue ever stay up to 12 fucking 30 at night? <laughs> oh, he's asleep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the only time you see Blue up this late is when he's being walked to jail or, uh, you know, something's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's waiting to see if CPN gets a bond amount. Maybe he's gonna like free the boy, you know. I told you CPN, know. tell me you have bed bug. <laughs> maybe, maybe you know, uh, uh, he's got to deal with CPN, CPN where CPN's one you phone call. Is to... You could have went in your house to avoid the situation. You know what I mean? But you know, if they do have to stand, a, you know, we have stand your ground here in Michigan. Uh, if you come to my house, you step on my property with the intent to do great bodily harm or any kind of shit like that. All I got to you, I could yell out, I fear for my life. And then I could put a bullet in you. That's all I got to do is yell, I fear for my life and I can take your life. That's what I was saying earlier. I mean, if you're you're going to take my life real quick before you do that, can you take my credit score? Because you might be able to to do something positive with that. No, (laughs) and he had neighbors. You know what I mean? If he would have just been yelling, I fear for my fucking life, and then cracked the motherfucker in the dome, it would have been a different charge. But I don't know the laws down there. I don't know if they got stand your ground or what their law is for protecting yourself. Then again, you never know. Like I said, a judge, a prosecutor could always just tell him, man, look, 
You had a chance to flee in your house, but you chose to attack. So they're going to have to look at who approached who. Did CPN approach him or did Chuck approach CPN? If he approached CPN, then they could use that in defense that this man was walking up to attempt, you know, harm. And Chuck there was did no d- drive to his house. Virginia does Chuck- not have a stand your ground statute. They have something oh, called yeah, the CPN no retreat rule. It basically means if you did not provoke the aggressive behavior, you don't have That's to what retreat I told him, for man. protecting That's what yourself. I fucking if said you to did, CPN, then you must Fuck retreat and cannot stand your ground. Other state, man. Stay in Michigan, bro. Stay up here in fucking Michigan where you're going to be all right, man. Motherfucker showed up at Madness House on that dumb shit. They could have dropped his ass and CPN wouldn't even be in jail right now. Chuck would either be on his way to the hospital or on his way to jail himself. But you see, even even the cop told him because after he gave his statement, the cop was like, and I quote, uh, I watched the live stream and that is not exactly what happened. Oh, yeah, that, that cop was like, cop like, was kind of OK, so that's why he also got arrested, which means Chuck had to give them or show them the live stream of what actually happened to get him arrested. Yo, whoever that, yeah, whoever that is, Chad about Hammer, me. you're a legend. Oh. You know, it's a fucked up situation now, man, for both of them. But, uh, man, CPN's going to have a, you know, a raw deal. You know, fuck. Depends on how long it takes for him to get in court. You know, see a judge. If the judge even grants him a bond. You never know. He might sit there for fucking three weeks to six fucking months before he gets a fucking hearing. You never know. You know, he was probably going to lose his job, lose his apartment. You never know. The apartment complex is going to hear about the shit that took place. You know, it, it's even going to get more fucked up for that man. Mm. Yeah, that's something you guys ain't thinking about. You know, like our apartments here, if you get in any kind of shit in our apartments, you're done. You're fucking done. If you catch a felony and you're on the apartments, you say you're living here. You catch a felony, the apartments find out you have that felony on your record, they will evict you out of the fucking premises immediately. Yeah, depends, Same here, man. Same here. Yep, it depends on, on the rules of the complex or wherever he's living. Yeah, but it's basically the same with any apartment complex across the country, man. You start shit in your apartment complex and it's done. You're done. Especially if they find York. out that he's the one that went to jail. You know, the, the, that complex is going to want to know what the fuck happened and why somebody was injured on their property. Right. Again, except for New York, because there's always fucking fights going on. Yeah, New, York, New, York. <laughs> New York don't deal with shit like that. They just want money. That's all the landlords want is money. So don't matter if you have a felony don't matter if you injure someone on their property. It really doesn't fucking matter as long as you're paying your rent and you're giving them money, they're happy. That's all it well, is. The, the townhomes where I grew up, you know, we had a lot of violence and shit going on there in Detroit. And it, the way it's set up is you have the apartments are in the back and then there's townhomes in the front. So basically the townhomes and the apartments, they coexist with each other. And one, whatever rule one puts in place, the other one adopts, basically. You know what I mean? And we had one cat that we grew up with. He lived there all his fucking life. Grew up, you know, was about 22 years old. Motherfucker went to, uh, went to prison. Had a felony. Not supposed to be living in the apartment complex. He came back. He moved in with his brother. <laughs> this motherfucker's out buying a pound of weed, all right? Buying a pound of weed. Now, mind you, while he's out buying his pound of weed, somebody comes up to his house looking to buy some weed from him. So he gets back and goes over to the guy's house to, you know, see what the fuck's up. You want to buy some weed? The dude told him flat out, I don't buy from black people, but in the N-word, if you get my drift. Well, Mm -hmm. homeboy went back to his fucking house, grabbed his pistol, went back and shot that dude five times. And they really started enforcing that. Any felony rule, if you have a felony, they're really enforcing it now. No felonies on their property. If your loved one lets you on their property while you got a felony, they'll be evicted. 
you know, so it, it it's pretty crazy, man, where you live and what the rules are. But one person, just one person ruined it for everybody that wanted to live there. All right, y'all. It is 1239. Let me get off of here. Right, Have a good night. Have a good night, Dora. Good talking to you again. Yes, whoop, whoop. definitely. Whoop, whoop. I'll whoop, be on tomorrow. Whoop. Adios, senore. Senora. Senora, sorry. <laughs> there you go. I don't know what y'all said. I didn't press two when I logged in today. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Peace. Yeah, so I miss all the good crazy shit today, huh, Blue? Uh, I was having over a hundred viewers earlier. Yeah, I was at the hospital all fucking day, man. I didn't even get home until we got home maybe about 12 o'clock. Did somebody hit you with a hammer? <laughs> yeah. So, the little guy, uh, we found out my little dude, the, seven, the little seven-month-old, he's got COVID, man. Oh, oh man, no. that's rough. That's hardcore. Yeah, seven-month-old. Seven fucking months old. You know, we all God. got the shot, but he, you know, with him being so young, he couldn't get protected. So, yeah, you yeah. know, the wife didn't take the vaccine while she was pregnant, which now we regret that decision. You know what I mean? If uh, she would have took it while she was pregnant, he would have had a better uh, better fighting chance. Well, you know, it's so COVID, you, man. The, the, the young ones, they, they have a better immunity to it. So I, I wouldn't worry too much yet. The, the little ones no, usually yet, tend to have. Like like I said, I, oh, I'm, not, I'm telling you what, when I heard when I heard COVID, uh, you know, I was worried, really worried. And, uh, you know, of course, my mind went to immediately looking at all the negativity of the shit, all the extreme risk for a minor, a little child. And like I said, it's very rare, very, very rare. But it can happen. You know what I mean? It can happen after a week or two. You might develop worse mm. symptoms. But it's very rare that it happens to a baby like that. But, um, yeah, man, it's a uh, miss all the crazy shit sitting in the hospital. But so far, me, my, you know, Jared here, he's all right. Going to take him tomorrow and get him vaccinated. But, you know, this, uh, I'm going to let you guys know, man. In the back, right? he said, yeah, no. he's like, fuck you. You're not, you're not doing that shit. But, uh, I'm going to let you guys know, CPA man. If you haven't you got right, don't get it. Honestly, if you have not done it, man, I recommend people to do it. Because the fact is, yes, you can still get the virus. But what you're hoping for when you get it is that you won't get severe symptoms. You know what I mean? So it's worth actually getting the shot. Otherwise, I I'd probably be sick of the dog right myself. Oh, are we really going to have this debate at no, 12, fuck that. I'm just telling you guys, man. No, I am I'm not going to have okay. a debate. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank, thank I'm telling the everybody. Lord, yeah. we are not going to have that debate. I was not in the mood to hear but, about this. Yeah, we're all good over here. Like I said, it's just a little guy, man, and uh, it's it's going to be hell for the next couple weeks. Yeah. I hope the best for the little dude. So uh, I seen Absolutely. somebody in the chat said there is video. I guess Chuck. I guess there's video Chuck has or somewhere. Okay, so the- Chuck was live on Instagram when it happened, and CPN was live when it happened. CPN put his phone down. Supposedly, I didn't see the stream, so I can't say for sure. But from what I understand, Chuck had the altercation streamed, but has since taken it down and from what i've been able to search there is no like nobody's nobody has a leaked copy of it yeah most likely the police took the evidence got that video and uh had him remove it from everything else right but i i've been looking to see if like maybe somebody who was watching the stream like saw something was like oh it's about to go down and like started screen capping it right that's what i'm saying (laughs) So like yo, if you have if you have like a it's screen black. cap of it, like and you're in the chat, like hit me up on Discord. Like my Discord logo is the same as like you see now. Like find me, send me DM, let me see it. Yeah, I get home and I see blue live, and I'm like, what the fuck? This motherfucker's up. <laughs> he must have got some Adderall or something in the system. 
He was gone for this a solid liver up this way tonight. <laughs> I told Boyle, uh, I'd show him my ass if he would have stayed up and did the stream. So, yeah, yeah, and, got, got, hey, right. and there hasn't been uh, anything I need, else I need you to stuff, tell huh? me, are you a cobalt hammer? Are you a D-Walt craftsman? Like, what <laughs> brand of hammer? I need, I, I, these are the small, minute details I need to know that I care about. Yeah, he's been uh, live now for three hours. Blue's been on for three motherfucking hours. Blue's probably passed the fuck out. I am. (laughs) (laughs) What are you doing, Blue? Are you playing with yourself in the back corner? I'm actually taking a piss. It sounds like you're doing something like way off in the corner in a very echoey room that has nothing in it. That you literally just described pretty much anybody's bathroom. So yeah, we got a hammer inside the comment section right now, man. The hammer's actually in the comment section. <laughs> See, the, the hammer. So hammer, yep. what happened? Like, like, give us a play by play from your perspective. Like. <laughs> Can we get the That's NFL like play by play instant replay in slow mo? The hammer's on the run. He says they gotta they gotta find me first. <laughs> oh, he can't you even be... chill on the stoop without being thrown. Too fucking hilarious. <laughs> Big drama today. Blue can't be asleep yet, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I don't know y'all. I'm the homie f bomb. I didn't even ask to be like popped on the stream i i clicked a link in the youtube stream that brought me here and then like i just ended up on here <laughs> so like it's nice to meet you guys that's funny as shit first roxy's boil and now the hammer <laughs> jesus christ the bearded well, man CPN honked his horn cpn came that, out yeah. like a madman and <laughs> threw me at the man it was like he thought he was playing donkey kong yeah, no video, Alex. No, no video at all. That's crazy as hell that nobody has. I think it's already video. online now, Ashley. Like, if if you're on Discord, find me on Discord and like. My DM thing me. is that, oh man, he yeah. actually. I can't believe he actually swung that hammer at Chuck's dome. I just, I'm sorry. Looking at CPN and like, I, I, I cannot get over the fact that he was able to like swing a hammer. And he did it fast enough to where, like, Chuck didn't deflect or move or do anything. Like, roll up his window, put his car in gear, do something. Like, he just, just accepted it. Image, I've just got this image in my head of, like, CPN plopping, head, uh, or ch- uh, plopping Chuck on the head with a hammer. And then Chuck just ending up waist deep in the dirt. <laughs> like, or like Wile E. Coyote, he gets bopped and he gets, like, the, like, the two-foot <laughs> knot on the top of his head. They had words, and to be honest, sounds like Chuck sucks him outside to run him up because CPN's been in a pretty bad mindset. Yeah, CPN has been in a bad mindset, man. Now, any anybody that's gone through what you know he's gone through, I don't I don't care. You like the guy, you don't like the guy. Uh, you know, emotionally, like I said before, emotionally that guy has got to be on an up and down fucking roller coaster. You know what I mean? It's Absolutely. he tries to get right, more people come at him and. It puts them right back in that fucking mind state, which I honestly thought, what was it, uh, just a couple days ago, maybe about a week ago, that Chuck and CPM were talking like they were all right? That That's what's kind of confusing me. I swear we, you know, Blue did a live, and, you know, there was uh, Chuck talking to CPM like, hey, man, what's going on? Everything all right? Everything's cool? And then what? Chuck comes out like, hey, I'm fucking your bitch. <laughs> Well, Chuck seems to be the type of guy that will, if uh, he had been adversaries with CPN for a long time, and at any point that moment comes up where he could use a moment to spite CPN, he's the type of guy that would seize that opportunity, and no matter how long oh, it's definitely. been since you guys had been beefing, he's going to use that moment to get he at him and get that, for that final, opportunity. Uh-huh. I don't know. I hope he didn't sign his keys and possessions out of jail to Roxy. 
Hmm. I don't know, man. He ain't got a bond or nothing. So, uh, well, no, I mean, in Virginia, if he gets malicious wounding, you're, he's not going to get a bond. I do know when they tell you, you don't got a bond, you are pretty fucked, man. That, that means you're in some serious shit. I mean, I can't speak facts, but from what I read, it, it appears that that charge is automatic no bond. But like with blue, you got, you know, you got to look at like with blue situation and other people's situations too, man. Uh, you know, how is it in Virginia with their COVID restrictions? You know, up here, it don't even matter what the fuck you get arrested for up here. They're kicking you out of jail the minute they fingerprint you. They're not keeping you inside a cage at all because of this COVID shit. Yeah, but I feel like we're so you past go in, that You get point, the picture taken, they give you a fingerprint. Or maybe they held they held some people up just so they get the ankle monitor. You know what I mean? You know. Yeah, but I, I think they're, they're past those restrictions. Like, man, man, a crazy fucking world we live in today, man. I'm gonna I mean, bust your fucking they're gonna start quarantining people for this monkeypox stuff. But then you gotta look, you know, CP in the middle, emotionally and uh, mentally. Yeah, I, I think he's finally uh. Hit that fucking snap part, you know what I mean? CPN's charges have been upgraded. To walk up and say, motherfucker, here, it's hammer time. And not think about the actual consequence that was going to follow. You know, maybe he honestly thought, oh, well, this guy's coming up to my property. I'm going to get self-defense if I do anything anyway. But, oh, man, if, you, you know, if he approached him. If he's the one that made it aggressive, yeah, he's he's cooked. He's so fucking cooked. I feel like I feel like he would have had to have known that though. Huh. Plot twist: CPN and Chuck set this up and hired actors to play cops just for views. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've seen people do worse. I mean, I wouldn't. I mean. Yeah, because, you know, that's what I thought. I thought after that Loud Blue did that they were all, you know, on decent terms. And, uh, you know, today it's just fucking crazy. You see Chuck go live and do that, uh, I'm in Virginia, look where I'm at, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I watched that one before I left. Next thing you know, it's hammer time. But, hey, you know, now uh, you look at it, oh, man. Chuck won. You know what I mean? If you look at everything mm-hmm. else, if he's fine and healthy, he won. CP Ensign in the jail cell, and he's going home to his bed. Yeah, I never thought I'd live to see it, quite honestly. But then again, maybe, uh, you know, shit just caught up with CP. And, you know, you what? You slap Big Will, you, you go and slap fucking Wolf, and now you put a hammer in somebody's fucking dome, dude. You know, that kind well, of and, shit, and, if, uh, if he gets a good enough attorney himself, Chuck does, they could use all that evidence to show that CPN is a violent person. This is a and pattern. he was very low. Like, they took the advantage of, like, they're, they're kicking a man while he's down. Like, he, they, they caught him at his lowest possible point when he was the most vulnerable, and they exploited that. So He's going, music I mean, is more than what back to CPN's wife's bed. <laughs> Oh my god, that's fucked up. Uh, that is fucked up. He's going back to fucking his his wife's bed, man. Huh. I don't know. It's it's all crazy, guys. Like I said, I miss everything today, so I'm going to hammer Roxy if you catch my drifts since CPN's wanted to pull me pull me into this. <laughs> oh shit. These comments, Blue, are going fucking off the chain, man. This is funny ass shit. I, I thought CPM was in Detroit. Left out loud. Why the fuck was he in the same state as his ex? What? Well, that's what I thought. You know, I heard that he left Michigan, but uh, you know, I even asked him earlier. Are you still in Michigan? I didn't know he actually left out. He did a couple videos uh, stating he had moved. Maybe. Well, yeah. Like- now- now Chuck could sway Roxy Music Biz, Mar- Music Biz Marty. You're right. Music Biz Marty says, I'm sure this will look good in his divorce. Yeah, Roxy could definitely use this violence in his, you know, in the divorce. But, you know, hey, there's a pattern here. He's violent. This is why I went out of this motherfucking divorce. Blah, blah, blah. 
Well, the thing is, CPM was saying the same thing about her, is that this what this all wasn't going to look good for her divorce. Oh, he moved back. He moved, I guess, uh, Madness earlier in here said he had to move back for his job. So he had to go back to Virginia for a job. Well, that's fucking crazy, man. It's fucking crazy. And then to have somebody stalking you in Virginia all the way to your motherfucking front door. <laughs> He went back because of work, apparently, but should have stayed in Michigan for a while longer. I agree. I don't, you know, I think he, uh, I think he should have stayed up in Michigan, man, and made a different uh, path for himself, or, um, you know, stayed away from Virginia. Period. Stayed away from Roxy and all the crap. That, how are people you know, seeing if his charges were up, update, like upgraded? How do, how are y'all seeing that? But you guys, uh, I don't know what time it is in Virginia. If it's the same time as here, it's twelve fifty-five in here in Michigan, but uh. I know we only got a couple hours here before the courts probably open at 9 o'clock. So he'll probably get arraigned. I don't know if they do like night court or anything there in Virginia like no, we have don't. here. Usually about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning we'll have night court and shit. They'll get us up for early ass night court. Usually what so. at least I live in Tennessee and usually like what we do in a lot of states around here do is um early morning on Monday, like as soon as the courts open, they'll start with like who was arrested like Friday after 5 p.m. Like who's been waiting the longest. And so like if he gets arrested like Sunday evening, he's going to be like last on that list. So he might not even see a judge to like Monday afternoon, late Monday afternoon or Tuesday morning. Either way, we'll probably uh, hear more about what's going on with him or see something online or if you find it probably about noon. Charges are now escalated to third degree <laughs> AGG assault by a cuckold. That comes from Izzy Fismari. <laughs> oh, Lord. oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I thought there was like some sort of like website you could go to to like see the arrest record and like people were saying that it was getting bumped up or something. Let's see. He moved back to stalk his wife and use a innocent hammer to attack a bearded midget. <laughs> Justice for hammer. <laughs> hammer, if he would have used you to kill yeah, that man, you would have been melted down and made into like roofing nails. Hopefully, CPN and Roxy Red's divorce trial is televised like the Johnny Depp trial. Man. Should have uh, stayed off the internet and built up a better life uh, and came back when life calmed down, but he was sucked into toxic situations. Yeah, you know, that was the thing, like I said, too, about CPN. I, I knew he wasn't going to stay quiet for long. Anybody knows that man knew he wasn't going to stay quiet for long. Come on. He could, you know, he gave us some time. He took a little break, but, uh, man, he should have stayed hidden for a while. I do agree with that. Probably in the cell right now, and the walls are all damp. I was in a holding cell once, and the fucking walls were damp, and I still have no clue why. Because <laughs> you was in a shitty cell, man. I, real work quick home, though, it's deal. like one o'clock in the morning, and I gotta be up at like seven, so I'm gonna do it. Hey, you and me Looking both, man. I'll catch you guys later. Adios, have a good me. night. Good yeah, I'm about to jump move. off here, blue. Like I said, man, I gotta get him to take care of this little dude here and get him down for bed, and you know all that good stuff, brother. Uh, I'm gonna keep an eye on this in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I'll talk to you tomorrow. No, there's a finger. There's a fucking finger. Sit and spin, goddammit. <laughs> Catch you guys later. All right, brother. Mm-hmm. Woo-woo. All right, I'm going to get off here. Have a good night, brother. Peace.